names are Francis Masters Akeo. I'm 23 years old. I'm the founder and the CEO of uh, Red Price Zambia. So basically, I opened it because there's a lot of things that people want, but you know, at an affordable price. And because I was broke mostly, but you know, yeah. So it's an all, it's a one stop shop basically for all your services, your goods, you know, you want to do money transfers, your payments. Yeah, and it's a, it's a trading shop. We like to buy, sell, and trade electronics and gadgets. Um, so you can trade in your old items, like your PS3s, your Xbox 360s, your PlayStation 2s. And you can get new gadgets, like your Xbox Series X, your Xbox Series S, your 360s, and stuff like that. So we also buy stuff for cash, in case you don't want to trade it in an upgrade. We can also buy your old gadgets, your desktops, your laptops, your phones, you know everything we just we're diverse so we we're not just strictly a shop for accessories or laptops and whatnot we can also sell us as well as buy from us yeah so you can bring us all those samples you've got guys but you know don't go stealing from your parents house now you know we don't want to get caught dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, And action, welcome to the Zed Podcast. My name is K Plus. It's K Plus, baby. <laughs> how do I let's kick it? Anyway, you are the ruler of rubbing you the wrong way. <laughs> the prince of pissing people off. <laughs> I was um I, I, I wouldn't uh quite the, 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 what, the, king, the king of what? Pissing people off. The prince. The prince of pissing people off. Because you don't like peace. I don't want peace. I, I want problems. This is always. The girl that I know. Yeah. So she invites me to dinner. Just uh, put the mic closer to you. No, I don't want to yell. So she invites me to dinner. Yeah, if and the mic is far where you yeah. need to yell. Yeah. So she tells me that she went to a bri. Yeah. And I don't know if people start talking about our podcast. Just randomly, bri. People are brying and they're supposed to be having fun. They're supposed to be talking about productive shit. Instead, they're talking about you and I. And they say, oh, no, K plus. Oh, that guy is cool. Now he's chilled. But that had a cocksucker though. Talking about me. Congratulations, you played yourself. Son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Zed Podcast. My name is K Plus, that's Elson. And our guest here is a creative. What, what, what's the title, bro? You do so many things. You're a content uh, creator. Yeah, I'm basically an entertainer. All round yeah, entertainer. Entertain, yeah. Because you, you, you're doing music now, you're doing comedy, you're doing a lot of content creation. Are yeah. you into movies yet? Ah, uh, not yet. Not, not yet. really looking forward to that, but. Unless it's uh, not in Zambia. That's the one that's left. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by Caps Auto Spears, also brought to you by Right Price. And uh, speaking of Caps, I, I don't know. Who, Have they renewed their shit? Have they paid again? We're about to, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Bryson, you owe us money? No, he doesn't, or does he? Anywho, um, speaking of Right Price, I think a lot, a lot of people saw, uh, I, I posted uh, my car being broken into just, about a week ago, almost a week ago. About a week ago. A week about ago. a week ago. So my car was broken into. Go, but I think you can put the video as we discuss this. So my car was broken into. Switcher, switcher, and his love for Ishima though. So he takes me to a restaurant, and I was about to head home. He takes me to a restaurant, and uh, we have Ishima. And as we come, when we come out, we find my car had been broken into, window they smashed. Break, they, oh, they broke the window. They broke the window. I think you can even see in the video the guy breaking the window. So smashes the window. They steal my JBL speaker. God, please put it up in case somebody sees hey, it. Hey, nobody gives a yeah. good goddamn about oh, the speaker. I give a damn about <laughs> my yeah, speaker. Yeah, buy another one. Keep going with your story. Dude, the way I feel like going John Wick on these niggas, the day I catch one. <laughs> I, think I so really <laughs> feel like going John Wick on these niggas. I think Switcher lined you up. Switcher. <laughs> You know, now, now that you mention it, I he's think, been looking at my speaker a certain way. I think Switcher lined you up. <laughs> they, they gave him his jacket back and they gave him a new speaker. Because, I mean, how, how do you explain? You saw the way the guy just opens my car and he just grabs. Do we, do we say he was grabbing the closest thing or he knew exactly what he was going He knew exactly what he was going for. <laughs> he limped his way to your car. <laughs> 
<laughs> his shit got stolen by a crippled guy. Uh, is that supposed to be I, I, funny? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you seen the video? No, not chance. yet. Not Let me show yet, you the video, yet. bro. Let me, let me see that. Totally unsexy, man. Like, so... <laughs> This guy yeah. grabs speaker, jacket, and a bit when, of money. When you, when you saw it first, did you laugh? Or <sighs> nah, his speaker really hurt him. Huh? His, his speaker really hurt so him. So it didn't matter who took it. No, I, I, nah, feel, I feel yeah. like Physical when John Wick's yeah. dog got killed, bro, that's that's how I felt in that moment. Like yeah. if I ever caught these yeah. niggas. Now when you told me about it, I yeah. there's something about having something stolen from you that you feel so violated. Yeah, true, true. Uh, but on the bright side, though, guess who came to the rescue? Had my car fixed. Let me see. Do I know them? No price for guessing. Uh, wait. It is uh, Caps. Caps. Thanks a lot to Caps. And uh, even though it's a Toyota, he's famous for fixing European cars. cars. Yeah, European was, was, cars. So was it, was it your window that he fixed? Yeah, yeah fixed the, yeah. brought in guys, brought in the window. They fixed everything. But you and, have the uh, plate number though. You see, the funny thing about this plate uh, number, let yeah. me show you what's up with this uh, plate and the details that it shows, yeah? yeah. So... Everybody kept saying the plate is showing, so take this to the cops or Ratsa. Yeah. Let me show you what the plate shows when you punch the number in at Ratsa. Look at that. Look at the vehicle type. You saw the vehicle type, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the type that, that shows up there. A totally oh, different yeah, yeah. car. Nissan. Yeah. Nissan Hot Body. White Hot Body. Yeah. Totally different car. But anyway, I hope they get caught one day. <sighs> this call is actually about you. I need to answer this. <laughs> Hi, Chimba. Hi. What, what, why, why should we on set? We can proceed? Okay, cool. Nice. All right, thanks. Okay, cheers. What's going on? Uh, a sponsor. Hmm? We'll talk. So, anywho. There's so much activity happening here. Is right? it a new sponsor? No, no, no. We'll talk. We'll talk. Dude. Yeah. There's so much happening in your life. Yeah, too much. Can we start much. with the PDF? <laughs> Is he in it? <laughs> Number 30. Yeah. Number 30. Yeah. <laughs> um, are, are you like in a stable relationship right now? Yeah, I You've am. got a stable girlfriend, fiancé or wife? No, nah, not fiancé. I'm too, I'm too young for that. Dude. I have a stable relationship going on right now. So, PDF? The PDF. Bro, what, what criteria were they using to, to, to make the PDF? I was as shocked as anyone was, you know. So, I don't know about the PDF. But I just found myself in it, 30th place. At least, I mean, it's a cook, my number four, my number five, my number eight. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Elson so was a bit pissed off because he wasn't in the PDF, though. No, no, no. Were you supposed to? No, no, no. Listen, um, when they make one for men, I'll be there. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you did there. <laughs> um, Zach was in it. The guy was pissed the fuck off. I can't hear you. Zach. Zach? Yes. Zach was in it. Well, Zach you know that little to be clown that keeps making um, posters about men giving money? No. You know the dude that I'm talking about? There's a guy that makes placards. There's a guy that makes placards. Oh, crap. The, the Instagram famous guy. Uh, no, not Instagram. Or was it Twitter yeah. famous? No, fa- Facebook. Yeah, he's famous. Called up. something. Like, uh, You're talking about the white guy, right? You're talking about the white guy, yeah. No. There's, there's, a, there's a black Zambian dude. Coach something, he he keeps making placards about men should give women money, mm. allowances. You don't know who I'm talking about? No. Bruh, do you know who I'm talking about? I think I've seen one post about... Like, but I anyway, think he, some, was, he was part of the PDF too. <laughs> Were you disappointed? No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> about him being in it? Yeah, about him. No, but guys, really, what, what's the point of these PDFs? What, what is he trying to do? What is he trying to achieve? Has he been found? Embarrassing people? I don't know. I heard someone was found in town. But is, is that him though? Is that the person who was creating it? I don't know. I didn't follow up. On the were you surprised story. though that you were in it? Yeah, very. Are you but a when I <laughs> <laughs> When I first saw the, like, the first 10 people, I expected to find my, myself in it. Because like I think he was just targeting these, these uh, Facebook famous people. Wasn't Brian Chanda in it? Yeah, Brian Chanda was in it. He, he was, in it, right? was in it. Yeah, he looks like a hoe. All right. So it's Facebook famous people that he was targeting. I don't know. These other, well, other people that when I look at them, bro, they look like they're from Shibolia. Like, yeah. but why is this person in it? <laughs> so you can't be from Shibolia and qualify to be in the PDF. No, no, you can. But then I'm, what, what I'm saying is, it can't be just Facebook famous uh, people because there were other people that looked 
dirty and crusty. Or are oh. you trying to say it takes money to be a whole? So how can you be in there? No, that's you- not what I'm saying. I am saying it's not only Facebook famous right. people because right. there were crusty and dirty ass people in there as well. <laughs> but it's also very expensive to be a whole, bro. That's my point. It's a shit is pricey. I mean, if you're gonna be a whole, it means you've got like what five girlfriends, five six girlfriends, and five or as, more. As far as I'm concerned, a Osaka girlfriend doesn't come cheap. No, she doesn't. Yeah, no, she doesn't. And, doesn't come and, cheap. And, and here's the other thing as well that I need to figure out: What's with these Osaka chicks? You agree that we're gonna meet? I'm gonna take you to lunch, or we're gonna meet? When did it become my responsibility to pay for your transportation to this come? This person, I think it happened. <laughs> no, but you know. <laughs> You, you, hasn't that happened to you? Nah, bro. Just, just tell us your experience. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. No, I heard that this nah. is what happens. <laughs> From... <laughs> I heard this word on the street. <laughs> you must not love yourself, bro. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to be laying with a chick that is, doesn't have transport money? Wait. What are you saying? You call a chick and have to pay for her transport. You called her. No. You no. agree that we're going to have lunch. But how can you agree at the same time? Isn't like one person supposed to okay, come up with a suggestion? Regardless, if, even if I say let's have lunch, yeah. why they should... I, I'm paying for the lunch, granted. <laughs> uh-huh. Why am I paying for your transport to come and eat? For the inconvenience. I think, <laughs> I think the understanding in Zambia is... You're a guy. You're supposed to pay for no, everything the, if we're linking up. If we're having drinks, we're having okay. meals. I like that you said yeah. the understanding. Is that your position as well? Yeah. Is that your position too? Yeah, I take care of my woman, so yeah. It's not talking about your woman. It's probably talking We're about, about your woman. in general. We're talking about in general. general. Yes. Yeah, I, I take care of people, man. I love taking care of people. Do you now? Yeah, I do. Why do, why do you want to make me reveal shit <laughs> <laughs> on this here podcast? I don't take care of you? <laughs> no. Um, well, it's not about me. <laughs> no, like an in business. Um, I, mean, like I, in I, business. I know quite a number that I've complained, actually. How about me not paying for stuff? Yeah. Me not paying for stuff? Yeah. What stuff? That stuff. <laughs> the one that you didn't pay for. Oh, crap. <laughs> the one I didn't pay for. Anyway, story for another day. Did let me, tell, let me tell you something. So and, last night, yeah. I, um, you paid for I, trans- I, I was laying in bed. <laughs> no, no, I don't do that. Mm. I've got um, got a very beautiful car that I love driving. Mm. So I don't mind going to pick up people. Um, last night I was laying in bed. Yes. And I was going through my Facebook. And then there was a reel that you were in that had over a hundred thousand fucking likes. So I stopped and I started checking this out. Did I not fucking die laughing? I took a screenshot and I sent it to you. And I was like, who's this guy? I wasn't it. No, I wasn't. Oh, the one you sent me last night. Sorry. (laughs) My mind is also a sorry, bro. Yeah, right. (laughs) You you didn't send me the screenshot. Or did you send it to him? What is it? He sent it to you. That time he didn't have my number, yes. I'm the one who gave him yeah, your yeah, number. Yeah. He told me Emma. that. Yeah, so. <laughs> Look at this, bro. <laughs> you sent me a screenshot. Check this out. Do you see the shit that I have to deal with? Um, I don't remember, eh? Yesterday at um, 2140. Please. Uh, oh, and that's why I didn't see it. Oh, okay. That's he why said, I didn't he see says it. he didn't see it after I sc- sent the screenshot. Can you see the reply? Yeah, and Dinema, quite the shop kid. We should have him. Yeah. That's you replying. <laughs> to the screenshot. That's yeah. after you called me. Anyway, story for another day. I did not story. call you. I sent a screenshot and I'm like, who is this guy? He is so funny. Then you responded to it and, and you told me his name. Dude, you do pro- not remember that I, conversation. I was, I was probably half asleep, bro. <laughs> and this is why you don't remember also getting chicks to pay for their own goddamn ride. This guy is just lying today. Was that your ammo just to come here and lie? <laughs> I really don't even remember talking imagine to you. If I didn't, <laughs> imagine if I didn't have this evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would probably look like the lie. Here. Anyway, you're asking him something. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not. Nah, you're funny. No, nah, thank uh, you very I, much. So the skit that I saw was when you're with this chick with this huge ass, and then yeah. there's another girl like your girl that <laughs> walks up to you, and, yeah. and she says, I don't want to fuck this up. Mm. So I'm paraphrasing, but I think the girl then says, What are you cheating on me? Mm. So, so this nigga then tells the girl that is with you, like, pimping <laughs> <laughs> <turn> around, <laughs> show her why I'm with you. <laughs> then he takes a mirror, and like, Firstly, you see the chick, she yeah. says yes. Then he takes a mirror, then he shows the girl the mirror. <laughs> Dude, how, how did this idea even come up for? Shit, that was funny. You know, such, such kids. How did. How, 
What's the, what's the foundation? What motivated you to make this? To start this? Um, so um, I was just in Watero, man, at my mom's place. Yeah. You know, I think that time we had uh, load shedding plus COVID. So it was right. quite rough. Yeah, that, that was uh, 20, 2021. Mm. Yeah, we had COVID and load shedding. So I had nothing to do. That's what motivated it, honestly. Like, I, had, I had nothing to do, man. I so, had just completed yeah. my grade 12. No way. 2021? Yeah. Yeah. No, 2020. 2020. I see what you're saying. Yeah. How old are you? 21. What the fuck? <laughs> what year were you born? 2001. My 2000. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> well, you're funny, but I don't know. I find it so difficult to take anybody that was born after 2000 seriously. Can you? Well, he's a serious, he's a serious guy. And it's, uh, to me, you're also in business now, right? Yeah. 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 I think I, I, I take one. I'll take him seriously. Niche. I would. <laughs> mm. You know, I still remember. I still remember vividly. You remember like leading up to 2000. How there was the whole the world's gonna end because mm. the computers cannot. He can't relate. He wasn't there. No, no, yeah. no. You I don't. You don't remember that, that, do you? I heard something about that. Oh, you heard something about that? About, about a comet. Yeah, there, there was no comet. Bro. Yeah, th- I think that was after I was born. Sorry, sorry, I can't relate. You're still your so dad is that sad. You had not even been generated. <laughs> your daddy had to come a couple of times <laughs> before your sperm was then generated. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing at that joke. <laughs> so I'm being kind. Those are facts, bro. <laughs> yeah. So who, who motivated you? Was it Majimbo? Was that, I know Majimbo got big in that period as well. She put up a lot of content and. Who's Majimbo? Majimbo, the the Kenyan girl. The one was doing stuff. From, is it Kenyan or Ugandan? What, where's she from? Majimbo. I don't even know who the fuck Majimbo is. The Ke- she's Kenyan. She's Kenyan. I, I don't know any Kenyan comedian. This girl. But I know a Ugandan <laughs> comedian. I think she's Ugandan. She's quite famous now. Rihanna is actually, uh, she, he's made her an, an ambassador of, of her Fenty, Fenty products no. and stuff. Jimbo, guys, come what on. What makes you think so? The content was similar. Well, she not similar, but mm. uh, a lot of... Was she also born in the 2000s? Yeah, she was. <laughs> this girl. Nah. Oh, wait, the girl, Ash, I don't like that girl. She's the one that has the camera so close to her face. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. eating though. and she's wearing yeah, glasses and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. I fucking hate that shit. No, 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 I'm not saying it's similar. I'm just saying a lot of people, like, you know, a lot of content creators boomed in that period. Oh, okay. okay you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I thought maybe... What period was that? The, the COVID period. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of people started creating content from their bedrooms. and Yeah, you know, yeah, that was, yeah. People were bored. Is that when you became famous? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Oh, that's dope. September 2021. You remember the exact date it became famous? On oh, the 13th. What, yeah. what was wow. it? Huh? What, what content was it that you created? So I just created a video for TikTok, but it wasn't really for TikTok. It was for just on my WhatsApp status. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I, apparently it was funny. It blew up. Yeah, it was the first video I've, I had ever made. And then I put it on my status on WhatsApp, and then someone got it and put it on TikTok. Mm. Right, yeah, and it so blew up from there. No, not really from TikTok, because uh, I think there was a, so one of these major pages in Zambia, Facebook pages, mm-hmm. they downloaded the video and uploaded it on their channel. So I just saw myself being tagged everywhere. Right. People who knew me, they were tagging my personal profile. What was, your, what was the video about? I think it was, which one was the first one? The first one was, I was calling a, a customer care line, uh, complaining about bad network. And then the, the customer care guy asked me what phone I was using. And then it was, it was like a really tiny phone. <laughs> and then since before he asked me what phone it was, I was like really upset with him, you know, <laughs> throwing all these words at him. And then I was just like, oh, boss, I'm saying it's a phone boy and gym. And then I failed to say the, 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 the brand name. I was just like, come with the shaker phone. It's just a small phone. Come with the shaker phone, my guy. It's a phone boy and gym. Come with the shaker phone. I can't say <laughs> It's just the phone. <laughs> and then after I said Ngamu is a chair, the customer guy, customer care guy laughed <laughs> like in my face. Yeah. I don't know. So the, the, the phone that I'm using is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Bad network is the issue here. <laughs> your network is garbage. Can we focus on the network? Can you leave my phone out of this? You disrespectful motherfucker. Got focus. <laughs> 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 so for you, you, you create this content, it goes yeah. viral. This was like an eye opener for you. No, I think the second one was the eye opener. Yeah. The second one. The, the first one was just, uh, I just thought it was just a by the way thing. You know, people are going, you know how Zambia like is. Like a fluke. Someone is just going to, yeah, yeah someone is just going to overshadow your, your moment of mm. your 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. And then bring up something else and then they'll forget about me. Because I never thought of myself as a comedian. Right. I was more of a rapper. 
Yeah, you so, rap? Yeah. Apparently, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the album later. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got a whole album too? He's got a whole album, bro. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, so yeah. when I made the second video, that's when I knew that uh, maybe I can do this because I didn't think I was funny enough to last. You know, mm. yeah, yeah, in the game. But, it's funny, but do you think people now know you more for your comedy than your music or the other way around? No, they know me more for my comedy because I've done the comedy longer than I've done the, the music. Uh, you since, know why they don't know I'm... your music? Why? Because you're not managed by Kazadi? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I think I think they they know it enough. Yeah, now I'm, I'm messing yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. And then, so th- what was the second one about? The second one was where I call. I was I, the the first videos. All the first videos were just me being on the phone. That's where then Dinema came from. Right. You know, because they used to ask me, "Oh, it's coming Dan. Oh, oh Dinema. Dinema. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's where the name ah, came okay. from. Yeah. What's your phone name? Emmanuel Piri. Oh, okay. Mm. So the, the second one was where I called in uh, during a, a radio show mm. that I was requesting for a song. And do you know how DJs like talk over a song? What, what do they call it? They call it... Um, You're a DJ. What wanking. Yeah, yeah wanking. wanking with yeah, the... Wanking. wanking? Yeah, we yeah, call it wanking, call yeah. It. Like when, wanking. when you're playing with the knobs like that, like yeah, you speak... So, so you, speak, you used to wank a lot? Like <laughs> I wanked a lot when I worked on radio, so... <laughs> Every radio presenter wanks. All oh, right. On radio, imagine that. How often that. would you wank? In like, um, <laughs> like an hour, about seven times. You would wank seven times in an I'm, hour? Yeah, because yeah, on average, you're talking after like two, three songs. Yeah. yeah. You so, back announce the song, so you wank a bit. Ooh. Yeah. God, I want you to isolate that. <laughs> Cut out the radio parts. Yeah. Just, just isolate that. Ah, uh, this is going to go viral on TikTok. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what the second video was about. Yeah. So this I was requesting for a song, and, yeah. and then I told the video not to talk over the song. I told the DJ, sorry, not to talk over the song. Oh, right. And immediately he starts playing it, starts talking over the phone. Then I call in again. I'm like, what well, I'm come, man. Yeah, so I, that was the second one. Yeah. So yeah. Speaking of radio, bro, you ever, you ever thought of doing radio? Huh? Yeah, I did radio for about a year. Where? Uh, Quitu. Serious? Yeah, yeah, I worked for Quitu for a year. For Quitu? Yeah. Oh, wait. Muka. 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 Yeah. Well, some, oh, I asked somebody about him. I asked two people, three people about him, <laughs> yeah. uh, in, including you, which you don't fucking remember. Uh, and one person said he's part of the Quitu family. I was, yeah. What, 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 so show, what did you do at Quitu? What, what show were you doing? Yeah? I was a radio presenter. I did a show called, I did, I did two shows. The first one was Bola Quitu because I'm, I'm really like into sports yeah. analysis and stuff like that. And then the second one was called Dionko. It was just like a teen show where they right. had these uh, TikTok famous people. So yeah. does Chicha's ass really look like that? Yeah, person? yeah, it, it does yeah. actually. Yeah, I, I'm asking stuff that I've actually really seen. I want to make sure that yeah, you yeah, also check. I know you've seen, but uh, no, we yeah. were together when we saw her ass. Yeah. It's actually her birthday today. Oh, word! Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw her post something here. Yeah. Yeah. It's something by Jeremiah called yeah. Birthday Sex. You know it? Yeah. yeah. You want to <laughs> dedicate it to her? The song? Yeah. Or the sex? <laughs> the song. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Dude, um, what did I want to ask about Quit 2? <laughs> Shout out to Cremosa. This is where we're shooting from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to tell you why I like this place. Hands down, the best place that... Not the best place. The place that I know that has got the best shisha in, the in country. Lusaka. In the country, the actually. Country, yeah. It's Cremosa. Let me tell you what I like about their shisha service, particularly. Number one is, you don't smoke shisha, do you? No, no sometimes. You know, like when you go to other places and they give you shisha, they give you the first two calls, free, and then you have to buy the. And then you have to buy. With here, it's like unlimited. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's every that's ten really minutes cool. they come and change your call. Oh, yeah. Rather than like with other places where you literally have to go and look for this guy and yeah, drag and him buy, by the yeah. balls so he can come and change his <laughs> shit. Right. And so, he doesn't even change it. He just gives you the call. Yeah. He just gives you the call. Um, well, and, walks up. and walks away. <laughs> and the last thing is... <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. they, start your, they start your shisha for you. Oh, you know, like okay, the worst thing cool. is like when you start smoking yeah. it and there's like nothing coming out. Mm. So they start it for you. Dude, we're talking about your time at Quito FM. Yeah. So, so shout you, out to you, Kremosa. You, yeah, shout out to Kremosa. <laughs> you were doing um, a soccer show. What, what else were you doing there? Uh, it was a teen show, just like modern entertainment, like pop culture. Right. Yeah. Speaking of soccer, you know the first video I ever saw of you was... Um, that was my third video ever. Yeah. The one by the stadium? Yeah, that was my third I video. meant to find out, bro. How, how, are you, how are you so good with accents? How did you pick that up? 
Um, I I don't think I'm that good. I think I just get away with it. Like very few people can do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I watch a lot of so I watch a, a lot of unnecessary stuff. Like you know, I don't really watch movies that much. Yeah. I watch like documentaries. You know, that's the, that's the stuff that entertains same, me. Same nice Joe yeah. Wild. Yeah. yeah. So I watch. I, and I'm a very big fan of Peter Drury. I don't know if you know Peter Drury. Yeah, the commentator. I'm not a soccer fan, but I know oh, yeah, the, the commentator. Yeah. Yeah. Shabalala. You know, the famous yeah, guy from yeah, 2010. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm a very big fan of that guy. So I watched a lot of his stuff, you know, his best commentary moments. Yeah. So I used to do that a lot in school and people would laugh. So when 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 I started making skits, I was like, what what else can I make when I was running out of ideas? Yeah. I'm like, ah, do it now. Since people now know me, it's now mm. funny. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's how. No, you know, you talk about the Peter Dre ones. You, yeah. you know, the first one I ever saw of you was... Uh, you were by the stadium mm. and you were talking about a war between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Oh, that was uh, BBC journalist. BBC versus, versus uh, ZNBC. Ah, that one cracked me up. I yeah, think from yeah, that yeah. day you gained a fan right. in me. Yeah, yeah. That was beautiful, man. And that was my accent. third video ever. Yeah, yeah I could tell. You look very that, young It was the one. first video on my Facebook page. I had videos on my TikTok, mm. but that was like the first when I made my Facebook page. That one was beautiful, man. The war between yeah. Zambia and Zimbabwe. Yeah, I, I yeah, love that yeah, one so much. What do, you, what, do you ha- what do you have the most uh, following? Uh, Facebook. Facebook, huh? About 170 something. No, 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 it's uh ninety. It's, it's near near ninety thousand, nine hundred thousand, one hundred thousand, almost a million. Are you lying? Yeah, no, near nine hundred thousand. It's like eight hundred thousand ninety. Yeah, somewhere there. The hell? Look at me disrespecting you saying hundred. But all, all these numbers, are you making money off Facebook? Yeah, yeah. According to some pages in Zambia, I was the first Zambian to monetize Facebook. <laughs> 899,000 no yeah. followers. So, oh, wait. yeah, you've got 170,000 likes. That's why I got the 170,000. Oh, the likes, yeah. yeah. So, wait, followers. when you say monetizing Facebook, how's that working? How does that, how does that, how, what are the mechanics behind it? How does it work? Um, so, you get paid when people send you stars. It's like when you send me a star, it's like, yeah. uh, I think about 17 kwacha. In kwacha. What, per star? Yeah, per star. So, so wait, who sends you stars and how, how anyone can send me a star you can send me a star as long as your so, facebook is connected to your so how, how much, many how much are you making per month from these stars ah nzambiri my watch blue vanga tambe so no one when the zambian relative watches this ah, they don't know how much you're making star. wait so how many stars per average do you get per post uh, about 50 times 17 on average yeah on average and he posts every day yeah. Dude, so oh, so they, they pay you. They pay you monthly. No, after three months. That's rex, man. You might be making a lot more Wait. money than most musicians. I might, yeah. Wait a tick. Let me do the math here. So you're getting about fifty a day. Sorry to count your pockets, bro, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, times that. Okay. Close to this per month. Yeah. So times yeah. three months. But it's more than that. Every yeah, three months, getting more than this. Hey, you might be there sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when, when do you get to monetize your Facebook page? Um, I don't really understand the mechanism behind oh, that. Oh, somebody did it for yeah, you? Yeah, my manager did it for me. Who's your manager? Is that him? No, no, that's my friend. My manager's not here. He's not a popular guy. His name is Fred Kisela, but he's a... Uh, Fred. Fred uh, Kisela. He needs to hook us up, man. We need to start making money on Facebook as well. Ah, he's all about monetizing stuff. Sometimes I even get surprised the stuff he monetizes for me. Yeah, Fred needs to... Fred, yeah, Fred, Fred is Fred, busy. Fred, you need to hook us up, bro. <laughs> so what, what else is he monetizing in your life? Uh, my music. Okay, so... From Boomplay. So Boomplay, Spotify, all of these guys are paying you. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're working with TuneCore, so they distribute to all digital streaming platforms. Yeah. And then they collect all the royalties for you. Mm. Then they have like a share in the... The so does he also release his music on his platform? Who? No, nah, bro. We, we don't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're going with this. <laughs> why, why am I going? I don't uh, know. I have yeah. no idea what's going on. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll just refer people to the last episode. So, dude, with the amount of money you are making now, do you even feel like... Oh, YouTube, YouTube as well, sorry. YouTube. It's so YouTube as well, yeah. YouTube, YouTube was the first. I mean, it was the first one we monetized. When a young guy like you starts making money, to which country is your YouTube account registered? Uh, the United States. Where? The United, United States. States. You, you, should have, you should have done the same. No, actually, do you know that Australia pays more? The most. Oh. Australia? Yes. Of all the countries in the world. If you register your YouTube in Australia, 
you'd yes. get a lot more per view than anywhere else. Hmm. Come. Our producer work on that, bro. Emma, I, I, I was asking because you're, you're a relatively young guy and you started making money at what, 19, 20? At 20. Is that your age? Huh? Yeah, true. So you, you you're half his age. <laughs> He's 45. Serious? Not even half. You, you look, you know, 30. You know, yeah. 20. It's nice. what? 30, 29. So. Hey, that's a compliment. No, nah, it's not even a compliment. Like, that's just genuinely, fact, that's what I thought. It's just a fact, yeah. yeah. That is a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Um, I'm, I'm getting a sense of how much you're making per month, right? Yeah. Is school even in, in your mind anywhere? Uh, it is, but not, Me, not now. That's my point. <laughs> not that's now. my point. Because you're, you're already making the kind of money that me at your age, school will be far fest in my head. Uh, are you thinking of it or are you feeling, you know, you can go through life with what you're doing, content creation and all? So actually, uh, prior to this, I wanted to be a journalist, specifically like a sports journalist. Right. And then I got the job. <laughs> before mm. the, the the school and then like uh, i really invested into like teaching myself right yeah about all the like learning about the history the rules about soccer netball volleyball mm. and stuff like that so when i was doing the sports show i did it for like a year and then i was like nah this is not my thing let me let me just stick to discussing football with my friends <laughs> <laughs> and imagine like, you then have, time you, as well you would have gone to time. school for that and then discovered yeah, afterwards yeah you know it would have been sad yeah, but, waste of money. but how are your parents feeling about the decisions you've made though so far? My parent. Mm. Parent. Yeah, yeah. Or guardians. guardians. If yeah. he's making one. that much. No, no, no. I don't think they give a good goddamn, right? Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll talk a bit about myself for a little bit. Mm. Um, I was already making money about your age as well. Mm. I was making money on the streets. Yeah. Way more money than people in my family were already working at that, at that point. You know what I mean? But my parents still felt, you just have to go to school. And I'm sure your guardians feel that sometimes. Like, they tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what if this doesn't yeah. work? You need something to fall back on. Yeah, they, 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 they could, but they can't afford to take me to school again. So it was the matter of, ah, this thing I is to come back to school. So it didn't do but I have no cheat. But my, my mom is very, very supportive. Nice. Yeah, of everything I've ever done in my life. How old is your mom? Huh? How old is she? She's 55. She turned 55 last year in September. She's turning 56. Okay. So, I had a follow-up joke to that. <laughs> if she was young, all right. <laughs> what was it? Well, like, I don't I think this is my cutoff. Yeah. That's, what <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If she was young, <laughs> They just said 48 there about... Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, look at those digits. I asked yeah. that because I think every... Like most Zambian mothers I know would say, okay, look, uh, even if I can't afford, you're making your own money. Take yourself to school because oh, yeah. what if this doesn't work? Mm -hmm. I think my mom is just so. Among all my 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 my, my siblings, yeah. she has been uh, very supportive of me the most. Because uh, I think the other ones they disappointed her a bit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <Yes>, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so even like from from when I was young, even like from grade six, seven. Uh, they could say I, I was always her favorite. So she has always had that trust in me, even right. when I was, I think I was bad. Serious, so eh? she has a lot of faith in me. She, I grew, I grew up before, before my age. Mm. You know, I, yeah, I could do a lot of stuff on my own before I was even doing this comedy stuff. I could work for myself, you know. Are you the first? Could, no, I'm the second from the last. Oh, wow. I, I, like, I like that your mother's very supportive because I know a lot of guys who, you know, started off in comedy and you tell your parents, I want to do comedy. They're like, you want to be a clown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of Zambian parents talk about just want to be a clown, make Trevor people laugh Noah. at them. Trevor yeah. Noah as well, yeah, the but mother. Let me say something. Yeah. But when I told her I wanted to be a musician, you know, she was okay with it. It was music, obviously. Yeah. And when I told her I wanted to be a comedian, she didn't say anything, but you could see it. Like, I was ah, like, disappointed. <laughs> So it is just a matter of proving to her how far this can take do, us. Do your mom's friends then recognize her as, oh, your son is the famous one on, yeah, yeah. on the socials? Yeah, they, they, they recognize me more than, than my mom because my mom is not a social media person. Right. So they just show her these things. Ah, I can post one on. And then maybe sometimes she calls me when she, she watches me on TV and stuff yeah. like that. But she's not on social media. Did they show her the ones where you're with Aston videos as well? 
I think they show her what she she can handle. <laughs> Who's that girl? Which girl? The girl in the video that I just described. Oh, her name is Jane. Is, is she, are you dating? Nah, bro. She's Would she's like going older than me though. Date? Have you seen people like me by Jagash? Who got that boot and put it on me? Dude, we, we, we are the wrong two people yeah. for having music uh, oh, conversations. The we are lost in the world. What's the big song? Very. You know the song? It's your maps and Jekash. People like people. People like me. People like me by Jekash. Is that what? I've never heard it before. The song is big. The video is big. Speaking of no your maps. Way. Wait, wait, wait. Why is the, why is the video big? There's big things in the video. There's big things in the video, and it was shot by one of the biggest guys who shoots videos in this country. Who's that? Who's that? Low. Who? Oh, director Low. Low. Oh, okay. Oh, the picture quality must be awesome. Yeah, very. It means everything is in HD. Everything. 4K. 4K. 6K. Speaking Cheers. of your maps. Yeah. Your tattoo. The one on your wrist. Yeah. I've seen this on Yo Maps. I've seen this on Brian Chanda. I've seen this on Slap D. The Illuminati. <laughs> Is this how you guys are succeeding? You need to have that tattoo. Or... Yes, yes. <clears throat> <laughs> no, um, my, I think my friends can testify that uh, I, f- I first saw Slap D's tattoo in... What, what song was that? Uh, it was Vaguad back then. I think it was 2017, 2016. Then even in high school, I used to do this tattoo on my hand with a marker. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I just... I just love the tattoo. So it's a coincidence that those other guys. But it's like totally different if you if you see the design. Is it but really it's just them? like yeah yeah because your maps. I was looking for a couple money, but I don't have any card. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've ended up having to unfollow those people on uh, not unfollow why but block. Let me tell you, n- nothing personal against them. But when I go to my timeline, mm. I cannot scroll through three or four oh, yeah, posts yeah. before yeah. you see something. Before I see yeah. something, because I don't follow him. But then there are people that like share their content, mm. and I, it felt like my timeline was being flooded by the same content. Mm. So you know how you go to suggest less. I kept doing that where you can suggest less of a particular post. It's a small country. Yeah, so I kept doing that, but then <laughs> yeah. that shit wasn't happening. So I was like, you know, let me just block this. And because not that I've got anything against them, mm. cool people. <laughs> that, that's what makes you Christian. You pay your tithe. Singer, yeah. Singer's a dick, I swear. <laughs> uh, mm. yeah. I rest my case. Dude. <clears throat> um, so, the, the comedy and... Uh, I always wonder something about... One thing about comedy, especially Zami comedy. Please that F word. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one doing audio, don't worry. I, I always... Yeah, well, you forget shit. Dude, I'm, on, I'm the one who cleans up the audio. <laughs> and speaking of forgetting shit, dude, on the last episode, I sent you... Uh, page 48? No, not page 48. Yeah, page 48, but we couldn't have shown page that. Page 48. But you know, it's hard. Barbara <laughs> Bagdas photos. That? that didn't go up. No. Page 48. They didn't go up. They didn't go up. But... G- but... Gosh! Page 48? Page 48, though. Page 48. What's that? <laughs> mm. Do you know who that is? No, no, man. I, I want to. Comments. <laughs> Name. <laughs> and phone number. <laughs> but I don't think she's I'm asking Zambian. for Kalenga. Oh, really? I don't think she's Zambian, though. She would be famous. <laughs> or she or should have owned up. Because yeah, yeah. you know what I think? people complimented that body so yeah, much. Yeah, she would have owned should up. Have been like, yeah, and this is my She's opinion. one of those women that are in massage parlors. I honestly think that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Could, be. Could be. Yeah. I was asking about co- uh, comedy. 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 Yeah. The content. Yeah. Quite alright. There's a lot of guys, you know, popping up on Facebook and getting famous from you know Facebook uh, posts and short, uh, short content. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you call your, your short videos. Short. Yeah, it's short content, the right? Skits, yeah. Yeah, the skits. And by my understanding of what a skit is, it's something that's short straight to the point. But I feel like a lot of comedians are taking too long in giving us a punchline oh, in their punchline. skits. Yeah. What's that about in this country? Uh, I think, you know, when, when you want to venture into something, you have to take some time to, 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 to learn uh, a couple of things or two. Because mm. even when, as, when, I, when I started as well, I'm just lucky that I got to know some people who, who, who taught me this stuff like before I could get to that point where you were like, the, the punchline is at the end. Mm. At least they get, uh, like, like they, they get pre punchlines before the punchline. Exactly. That, that give give us something hooked. to laugh at. Well, yeah, it's like stand up comedy. In, Z- in Zambian stand up comedy, the rule is you have to hit a punchline every after 30 seconds. Because 
people in Zambia don't like to be very attentive for a very long time and then you are not making them laugh. Mm. So you just sometimes the mamba no ponya but it's like a shy way. <laughs> and then that like cues your your mood you can even forget your material at that point yeah. so the principle from 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 stand up comedy is what i've taken to my skits as well cuz whether you like it or not the punchline has to be at the end but before you get to the punchline at least give them like, pre punchlines to keep them hooked to the video yeah just be in suspense of what is going to happen at the end yeah. cuz i feel like i i hate when uh You've sort of got the joke already like you you got you get the point he's trying yeah, to put then it then across and he's dragging it 10 minutes like dude what yeah. the f <laughs> we've laughed you you are ruining the video who does that no I can't think of any right now but it's just it, it's, it's a common thing especially the guys who put up content on uh, skits on facebook you've already got the joke but the guy is going and it's, you can already see where the punchline is yeah, like talking about someone specific here kalenga <sighs> so big a pussy that's I'm, ta- I'm talking about the whole everyone the, the industry. everyone doing comedy yeah. Like you scroll sometimes you watch a guy I don't even know who the I don't even know who these guys others are uniforms and whatever and the joke is just so long <laughs> others are uniforms yeah, yeah. And, and the joke <laughs> is just so long <laughs> yeah, there we have yourself. it ladies and gentlemen I did not say anything <laughs> yeah. dude ah oh, gosh there's so much to talk about when it comes to dilemma um the what oh it's the other side and then the music how how did you Like you said, I know you said before you were a rap crap before I come to the rapping. Mm. I know most of your comedy is skits, right? Mm. Most of it. Yeah, most of it. Do you ever get bookings to do, perform on stage and yeah, how do you then transform lot, your jokes to suit a live audience? They're totally separate. So how how do you structure them for a live audience? How do you work around it? I write pure stand up comedy. Serious. Yeah. It's just that, you know, in Zambia, most of the times uh we don't do our own shows, so yeah. we are hard. So the the the, the, the when we, when they take videos, you know, you can't get them because obviously they want to sell their their content. Mm. So that's why we don't put out our our stand-up sets that much unless I did my own show. Mm. But yeah, you should you should come to one of the shows. I'm, I think I, I can, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty decent. Well, invite us. Stand up comedian. When is the next one? It's comedian. Huh? When is the next one? Uh the next one is in what month is this? Is this is uh July, July uh, August. Okay. August. Dude, I heard you were attacked on a copper belt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I heard you were attacked how, like bitten up? No, 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 no. They threw bottles on on the stage. I I heard it was because people expected you to be funny. No, on stage no, no, as no. You were on Facebook? No, that's that's no? just what was reported. So the, right. the thing was this. Uh, I think I can even send you the the banner for the for the show. It was Chile right. One's show. It was like back to Chile La Bombo. That was the time when Chile One was just like um coming up. Mm. When Fuego Chao was, was right, hitting. Right, right, right. Yeah. So the show was supposed to start around 10 hours. And I had the show in Kitwe uh the previous day mm. so i told chile one i can only arrive at 15 and it was like oh okay so the show started around 10 hours and then i started off from kitwe around 16 because Yo. the organizer had delayed to obviously sort things out yeah sort things out yeah so i i went to chile one way thinking i'm very late like obviously, obviously chile one is supposed to perform by now i get to chile one way i go directly to the venue the place is full no one is performing Nothing is going on on stage. Mm. So in my mind I'm like ah I show you see that obviously bacha kudala pa ngombe chikwenda. So I yeah. coach the one I'm like ah big man now I'm about show and night for show. Ah o tatula amba no kwamba. It hadn't started and the show was supposed to start around 10. So they told me to in go the to the Yeah 10 in the morning. 16 hours nothing no, 16, is happening. 16 nothing yet. is happening here. Wow. So they told me to go to 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 a certain lodge. That's where everyone was was staying. They had booked the whole lodge. So I get there Uh, even Jay Cash can bear testament to this. We, I start with Jay Cash. I found Jay Cash already there. You know, we started talking. We were waiting for a call that we can now go to the to the venue. Right. And now it's like 19. No one is calling, and I'm the host. I'm not the performing act, so I know I'm the one who's supposed to be there and start the so, show. <clears throat> yeah, and start yeah. the show. So I called around 19. Show and we did call bunch. Because now we're getting impatient because mm. bo- we are bored. There, nothing is going on in Chile. And then. 22 hours no one is calling us. And, and people remember the show started around 10 hours. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to start at 10 a.m. 10, 10 a.m. p.m. 10 p.m. Nothing has happened yet. Wow. What kind of disrespect is this? Wow. I don't know. So they called me around 23. I don't no no 22:30, 22:30 somewhere there. Uh, you can you can now come. So I went, we started the show. Was it too packed. 
Yeah, just those super, are some then, of the most patient people I've ever yeah, heard. And then, Dude. and then the thing was, yeah. they weren't even angry when I got on stage. They were really excited that the show has mm-hmm. begun because very there are very few shows in Chirira Wombo. Nothing happens there. Yeah. So yeah. when they have something like that, it's like they don't even care what time it started. But they get a bit, obviously, you know. Agitated. So, yeah. So I started the show. Uh, I think all the artists performed. All the artists yeah. performed. Then the final one was Chile One. So I get on stage. That was around zero three. Mm. Zero three. I get on stage. I introduce Chile One. Chile One begins his performance. He was wearing like just, just a normal outfit. And then mm. he wanted to change his outfit. So he went to his car. People get angry because he went to put on a suit. You know, people get angry and I'm there trying to hype them up. That trying to have, hype them up is not working. <laughs> so why were, were people pissed off? Because you took a break to go and change. Not me. No, no I'm saying why were people upset? The show was taking too long. It was already morning at that time. The sun was almost out. It's almost like 24 hours later, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. So I'm to manja for manja and then I'm there, you know, trying to look for techniques to keep the crowd alive. Mm. I just saw one black label pass by. <laughs> but, <laughs> that happened to me in Kasama. I, I thought, you know, I could control the situation. Yeah. So as I'm joking, I can just go. Bah. And then I didn't want to leave. I, I, I didn't want the show to end like that. So I'm there trying to control the situation. I think I almost had it under control. And then the, the security guys were like, ah, no, you, you won't manage these people. This is how they are, apparently. They've done that to multiple artists. Uh, I heard they did it to. Okay, I can't name the artists. Now, nah, who did they, they do did it to? Some of the biggest <laughs> artists from the Copper Belt. Some of the biggest you've ever heard. Who, Sheffy? I don't know, but some of the biggest artists you've ever heard from there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that was the story about that. About so Chile they were one. angry at Chile one. Not no, angry. I think they were just angry. F- like generally in general you know because it was just ah, taking that was long disrespectful now. though bro like yeah. the show was supposed to start at 10 and then yeah, 10. you guys just get on stage at like 11 p.m yeah i think the, like i think that, you. <laughs> i think the the, the the main reason it really took long to start is that there were too many artists on the on the on the banner it looked like one of those moments in motor combat when you're about to pick your player <laughs> that's how the <laughs> the banner looked like there were too many artists on the banner wow. and they're like very few Performed. Performed, yeah, yeah. So it was like, if we start the show now, it might end around 14. So I understand they had to take their time, but they took too much time. Sheesh. Yeah. But what's up with gigs in Zambia not starting on time, though? You, you're a person who's always performing. What's up with that, bro? Okay, so let me say, for example, it's a nightclub. Mm. You're performing at a nightclub, right? An artist can get to the nightclub around 19 if the show, if the show starts around 19. Mm. But if it performs around 19 finishes around 20, everyone will leave the club. That's a loss for the, no one will buy the alcohol, no one. So, so it's not always the artist. The artist gets there on time, but you know, there's always, you have to wait for the signal. So come on, because they had, they have to sell as well. So before the tickets, sometimes the, the show is even free, you know. But that, so, that's, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen gigs, I'll give an example of uh, places where Let's say Sampa the Great. She'll show mm. you like uh, her itinerary mm. and she even state what time she's going to perform. And yeah. she performs at exactly that time. Oh, no, Don't you feel maybe organizers... Or... Yeah, but my point is, is maybe promoters know that happens. So tell us, Chef is coming and he's going to perform at 22 hours. Maybe that way people will be less agitated. Uh, maybe. Because it doesn't make sense, dude. Like we're told the gig starts at 19 hours and yeah. Chef is coming and he performs at 02. Um, that's when people start throwing bottles usually people again they have this 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 mentality of ah, first Korea then the end of the show I have any, I have any chef so you find the show is starting around 19 and then they start coming around 21 especially at the music club yeah yeah they're at oh. the, the capo they're at Chicago's they're, they're in Capone's then when they get drunk that's when they're like ah man chef obvious as I'm a performer because <laughs> I think okay, okay I think it's, 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 it's also the organizers fault people are used to them being late, so they take that time as well. It's gonna take a lot of time to shift to, to change mindsets. And then, because, yeah. dude, even in uh, Zim, the Vic Force Carnival, mm-hmm. you could literally follow the program to a T when they yeah. say 19 hours, black Just coffee 19. choreographed, 22 hours, black coffee's coming on stage. You see black coffee by the side of the stage, 22 sharp black coffee's by the deck. They mm-hmm. turn dim the lights, yep. lights on, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know when we're gonna get to that level. The I closest think, I've seen, remember yeah. the Jameson gig last year? Yep, that was in time. You think? 
Yeah, I think what was I what was I even about to say? Yeah, he nah, talk a lot. Yeah. yeah, he does. I was talking about, about the Jameson gig time, Black Coffee coming Before. on stage. Oh yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, um, rehearsals in Zambia we don't do rehearsals. We meet at the show. You know, I think in other countries they 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 they, they choreograph their shows like really well. So. Mm. Samba is there when this other one is is rehearsing. She knows that right after this song, this song is the last. Then me, I have to guess that maybe Yayo Mapsinde is Ankara last. I was there. Ah, I'm I'm a fine You start waiting again. You don't even know when he's going to finish. Maybe mm. Kapena went down to the bathroom. Then he's done. And you have to you run know? back. And then you have to ah, see this. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I think also uh, traveling helps. Exposure is extremely important, and this is yeah. why when we give examples of Samba. Is because they are used to how other people yeah, yeah, in other no, parts no. of the world do it, and because respecting your audience is very important. It's very important. Yeah, but then again, um, you're talking about promoters. Maybe you artists should also start demanding this more from your promoters. And, yeah, you know, I think so. Yeah, because if as an artist you say, "Look, guys, you've paid me quite all right, and you've told me I'm going to perform at this time. I'm going to show up at this time, and if I don't perform at this time, I'm going to leave." Mm. A promoter is supposed to because work your with name time. is yeah. your brand at the end of the day. And they very don't know people, who the promoter very is. Few artists in Zambia know that they are brands. Yeah, they don't. They don't know who the promoter is, nor do they care. Mm. You know what I mean? It's your name that they're gonna say. This nigga here showed up late. Yeah. The mm. fact that you were chilling at a lodge and calling these guys, they're not, they're not preview to all that information. Mm. So it's just your name that they're gonna say. Ah, you know what? This guy here is so disrespectful. Mm. I think we haven't yet invested in turning musicians into brands yet. In, in our country, so it's just usually a group of people with with their friends. If you have, I, I feel like again, I keep going back it's, to your. It's maps. happening I now. Feel like your no, it's is happening now. Creating a pretty good brand for himself. Yeah, it's happening now. Even some some comedians are creating brands for themselves now. You can tell by the BJ results. BJ was was not feeling well some time back, right? Who's that? BJ Henry BJ. Yeah. Yeah, 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 BP issues. Is it good now? Yeah, it's good. I was talking to him when. No, we actually spoke last week. Yeah, I need to check up on him. Yeah, we need yeah. to go check him out. So, dude, speaking of brands. Mm. Tell us more about your brand. What's what's your brand about? So uh, my brand is broad. We we try to explore as many opportunities as we can. Mm. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but in November 2022, I got a deal. I worked with uh, FIFA and SuperSport. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, big. so yeah, it was really big. So, you went to the World Cup as well, yeah. 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 What so, was the World Cup? Qatar. Qatar, yeah. yeah. So it was like they were just picking like four content creators in Africa. You in know, Africa. In Africa. Wow. And you were one of the four. Yeah, one of the four. Like one from Nigeria, one was from Kenya, one was from South Africa, and me. So what, what criteria were they using to pick these people? I don't know. <laughs> but they were like, uh, when they approached us, I think they saw the video that you saw. The, the Peter Drury one, yeah, right? Yeah, the Peter Drury yeah, one. Yeah, should have been. So they were like, do you do more of this? And we were like, yeah, yeah, we do. We, do. we actually do a lot of this. No, we don't. But obviously, you have to say yes. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. And then when when, I, when it first came, I thought it was a scam. Cause of I course. Used, yeah, because I usually get emails. You know you know those emails? We Every work day with in Puma. our inbox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can give we you are, $700. Another one that they say is Nestle. Nestle, Nestle Nike, Nestle Puma, Nestle. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't read, you don't read the, the inbox, do you? I, I know what names to look out for in the inbox. So, yeah. Anyway, he was like... They've actually gotten smarter. Because yeah. lately, because my emails come through to my watch, yeah. they even greet us by name. Yeah, I saw that today. I saw that yeah, yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your yeah, content like, is really good. We'd love to put up some bad words. Watching our content as well. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you were talking about the Qatar thing. So the email came? Was it an email or what? what, what? It was an email. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. It was an email and then they requested for my number. Right. So, obviously, you know, talking from what he said, he said mm. they use Nestle, Puma, Nike. Yep, it was yep. the first time I was seeing uh, 2022 uh, FIFA World Cup, Qatar, blah, 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 blah. I was like, ah, maybe, let me just give this a chance. And then they requested for a Zoom Zoom meeting. Mm. Then I, I, was in, I was in bed. I wasn't even taking this seriously. Like, let me just see this karma. And then I, I move on with my life. <laughs> and you were and expecting then, a Nigerian face. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was expecting some, some, some Arab, you know. And yeah. then like, it was like, a, they were like in this room. This, it looked like a boardroom. And there's like plenty it's of them. serious, yeah, and they're like in suits. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah, and then I'm just there. Wait, well, did you have your like, video you, on? Huh? Did you have your video, your video? Was yeah, your video yeah, it on? Was on. I just picked up, I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because wow. I thought it was like a one-on-one -on -one conversation between the person who had, who had been yeah. emailing me. But oh, there were like shit. a lot of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then they had also the con- the other content creators as well. And then the as part of the Zoom. Yeah, and then they're like the, some of the top uh, content creators in Africa. Like Yuap Uria, I think you've seen him. Is the one who paints his face, and then he uses the Peter Jury guy. The Peter Jury guy. That's Yuap Uria. Oh, yeah. him and a lot of kids around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What it's, a beautiful goal! That yeah, guy what a beautiful with, with containers. Yeah, yeah with containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. in the board meeting. He he was, but so he, he was, wasn't in the boardroom. He was, but he was just part of the call. The, the part of the call. So you recognized him, and that's how you knew this is serious. I didn't recognize him because in his videos he paints his oh, face, wears his hat. And, yeah. yeah, so he was just in his normal outfit. Right. So they said, "Oh, we have Europe," and I was like, "Europe," because I'm a very big follower of him. And then they had Gift Manando as well, very big in South Africa. And I was like, ah. "So this is uh, serious." I'm like, juice? "Can you give me five minutes?" And I just I I put on this the like, think Zambian jersey or something. I sat at the dining table, and then we had that meeting. Yeah. And what did the check look like? Mm. Was a big change my check, life. Yeah. Change your life. <laughs> what, in dollars, in US dollars? Yeah, yeah. In was US it like ten thousand? Was, hmm? was it ten, 10 uh, grand? Mm. Above that, dude. He, he bought houses house. and cars and stuff. Did you really? Did you buy I houses? Did, I didn't buy houses and cars. But well, so, so, uh, how much? Car. How much are we talking here? Huh? How much are we talking about? No, I can't review. So, but is it is it I'm like between to. thirty and fifty? I'm not Renford Calaba. I watched that, <laughs> I, and then he was just like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'll turn Kalama on you. Ask, ask the question again. Okay. Um, in the money you got, <laughs> yeah. were you able to buy a car of a showroom? For like yeah. Peter? You were able to buy a car of a showroom. Yeah. Like but a I G-G, didn't. Like a Hilux. Huh? Like you could I, afford it. I could afford it at the time, yeah. But like what type of car? Because a Mac X, you could buy a Mac X out of a showroom. <laughs> yeah, <too>. true. <laughs> I'll, I'll slowly, you, 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 you make me end up slowly. You know, no, okay. like, what kind of car? A Hilux or two. I think I Hilux in like a and the Mark X. In like a small or something. A Hilux like it, almost eight hundred thousand quacha. <coughs> no, 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 we're talking so showroom. So a Hilux from a showroom would and be like dot, a and million. That, and that so we're talking about maybe forty or fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, give or take. Somewhere. So what, what what would you what were you required to do in that deal? It was very simple, man. It was the simplest job I've ever been given, and it gave me the, the most, most money. money. Life works that way, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, life works yeah. that way. Yeah. So, do you know how people use these sounds on TikTok? For example, mm-hmm. you create a sound and I use it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they got the Peter Drury moments from uh, 2006, the Lampard miss when he missed the penalty. 2010, Asamoah Gyan miss. 2010, Shabalala go. 2010, Suarez handball. And then 2014, James Rodriguez go. So those commentary moments when Peter Drury was like, go, go over lifetime. Mm. It was like shorter than, it was like a, about 40 seconds. You just have to master that and mm. then do it as a TikTok challenge and then hashtag it 2022 FIFA World Cup, Qatar, blah, blah, super sport. Yeah. Hmm. How, how many of those did you do? Five. Five? Yeah, I did, I did those videos like three days. So like 10,000 per each skit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah if, if life could be that way every day. Yeah, you know, I um, wish they they had promised something like, yeah, we, we, we work together after the World Cup for the Premier League and La Liga. So that's what I'm waiting for. If it if if that goes through, ah, I think I'm sure. Wow. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's massive. massive. Do you know how much money that the dude is almost like a mime? Yeah. I think it's a Senegalese dude. This little, very dark guy. The guy that used to... He's Italian. Oh, he's Italian? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's ca- of, ca- of, ca- of Senegalese ca- 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 That guy is ca- working ca- in millions now, ca- bro. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's uh, FIFA's brand ambassador. He's, he's just putting up less content now. The money works that way. It's like the more money you make, the less work you start doing in life. Yeah, he's, eh? doing, he's doing content with Messi, Ronaldo, yeah, I saw Zlatan, that. you know. He's one of the few guys who I've seen like the inside of his palms are as dark as the outside. Yeah, he's very dark. <laughs> Even his lips are like really white. You said he's from Italy. Yeah, he's from Italy. And the comedian isn't who... he from Africa? No, no, he's, he, he, he grew origins, up in or, for, he's West, of yeah. Senegalese origins. But grew up in Italy. But he grew it, up it in Italy. Word of it, well, he does. But then he also blew up during COVID. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like for, he, was that's what he does. Just this. That's just that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He 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 put he does. Way less. He, he's like Mr. Bean. Yeah. Well, Mr. Bean even speaks sometimes. Yeah, Mr. Bean speaks sometimes. Yes, man. It's Charlie like Chaplin. Car. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. I've never heard a word out of Charlie Chaplin's mouth. No, but, it's just but like way me. less activity. Because oh, he yeah, it's just like <laughs> man. Comedy will take you places, bro. Yeah. Comedy will take you. Look at look at Trevor. 
Yeah, yeah. Trevor, Trevor was actually pretty smart to to jump ship from the Daily Show. Because late night, I feel like late night is tanking. Viewership is going down, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, dude, dude, if you could make a prediction as to... This is one question we've asked in the podcast, where you see yourself in five years. But where, where do you think yeah, it's such we're a going? Question. I know it is, but I just want to try and imagine, yeah, I'll consider, hear his answer. considering where you've reached in such a short space of time, mm. where do you think you're going? Man, the aim is to go international, but mm. the, 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 the strategy is what's different. It's, it's what, what everyone else is doing might be different from what I'm doing, mm. but in five years we would be international. So what I'm doing is... I create different content for like different countries. Right. So I, I create a Nigerian skit. I create a Chinese skit. Okay. So when you watch the Nigerian uh, content on my, my page, most of the people that like the, the video are from Nigeria. Most of the people commenting, they're like tagging each other. This boy, they sound like... Uh, Wait, they, what's the they Nigerian accent? Uh, this boy, they sound like, uh, you know... <laughs> This thing, <laughs> this thing where it is, Abi. <laughs> That's smart. And then I went, really to, smart, I went to a Nigerian restaurant uh, somewhere in town. And to, then to, to, it, to test drive your accent. Yeah, of course. And then, because I, uh, I go there, I sit, and then most of the people that come obviously are Nigerian. And then I just like, pick up the accent in person. Because right. I think the ones in the movies can only give you so much you need it. Like here, like, right. yeah, mm. in person. So I went there to pick up the accent, and then as soon as I get there, like this boy, <laughs> you remember um, in Tinema? Is this you? Is this you? And, and then like they started asking for yeah. pictures, and then that's when I knew I love. Wait, the right so market. have you tried to speak to a Nigerian person who doesn't recognize you in a Nigerian accent? Yeah, actually, I, I did. And did they pick up that was a yeah. fake accent? No, they didn't. Wow. They they picked up the the accent after like uh, two two to three minutes. We started the conversation. They, the, the accent was not the reason they picked up that I'm not from Nigeria. There's they said something used. that I, sh- I was supposed to relate to that's from Nigeria. And then, and then like, you couldn't. Uh, nah. And like, ah, you I'm, I'm just... Yeah, but he's really selling Nigeria well. Look at the flag. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I noticed that. Coincidentally. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's really smart, bro. Did you really think about it? Like, Because Nigeria's got the numbers. So yeah. why should you tap into that market, bro? It's well, like, it's like uh, I'm sure you and Josh too funny are now communicating a lot no he communicates with Abel but yeah. he knows like a lot Abel about Uchungu. Yeah, yeah. Abel Uchungu. Well, we're supposed music, to go to Nigeria for actually. comedy for comedy why <laughs> Abel is really funny guy. He is. he's a really funny guy well his music is funny yes <laughs> what do you mean his music is funny nah the music is good it's not funny why do you guys lie to that man no, it's like very funny. I think comedy is relative. Stop lying. So I think you can't relate it's to it. It's the way a lot of people don't think Trevor Noah is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Trevor Noah used to be funny. I feel like when it's Trevor Noah moved to America. He had to be politically correct in America. There you yeah. go. Well, he had to be politically correct in America. And so he had to water down his jokes. In Africa, he can be loose and get away with it. I feel like Abel could be funny. If? If he did not... Seems like I'm going to go very far. I feel like <laughs> look, look, Abel look could... Look who's being a pussy now. <laughs> Say it? No. Mm-hmm. I feel like if Abel wasn't Christian, he'd be funny. Uh, I feel oh, like... he'd be more... Yeah, he'd be less restrained. He'd be less restrained. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think... I, I feel think like he right. doesn't want to say what exactly he wants to say because mm. he has an image to uphold. Yeah. Speaking of Christian, yeah. dude... I, and, and considering your mom's age, I'm sure she's yeah. a very church-going person. Yeah, she, she's one of those in all, the red all uniforms. Our all our <laughs> so you grew up like in a very Christian home. Very, yeah. Actually, I was even the most Christian at some point. Yeah, me too. What, what happened? Yeah. Huh? What, what happened? happened? What, does he not seem Christian now? I'm just, <laughs> he's about to answer. <laughs> he's saying, I used to be the most Christian. So what mm. happened, bro? No, I, my mom has overtaken me because of what I do, obviously. Sometimes at, on Sunday, I'm not in the, in the, in the city. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. But I was like... I almost went to to Bible school actually. Like, if if I hadn't blown up in like uh, in the, at that time, mm-hmm. I think a month after that, I was supposed to go to like the Philippines for Bible school yeah. theology. Theology. I always feel it's people who grow up in very strong Christian homes that have a unique yeah. temptation. Like if you, if you never quite had like a ratchet phase, yeah. you grew up in a Christian home, no ratchet phase. It's like the temptation is so strong in you guys yeah, who yeah, grew yeah, up in yeah. Christian homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel it was the same for you as well? Yeah, I, I kind of feel like it was the same because even when I was doing the music, mm. I was the, I was like the way you described Abel. 
you mm-hmm. know, because yeah. I want to say something in this song, but because yeah. I know, you know, some, some of the family members will hear it. Obviously, because no one else will hear it. I'll be playing it at right. home. So, yeah, I think it, it was something like that. Yeah. But I think what you said is right, because we see a lot of, even Vincenzo, you know Vincenzo? Yeah. yeah. But the beer president, his dad is a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is a pastor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always feel like I think there's there's two types of Christians. Those who grew up in Christian homes, and then you don't go through a ratchet phase. Somewhere in adulthood, those are, really, those are the people really those are the people really mess up, especially when it comes to marriages. And then there are those of us like Elson who go through a ratchet phase. Yeah, in childhood. and then we are like tired, you know. Exactly, you've yeah. been through it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, ah, let me just grow up. Come on, but you've sort of done both. I'm, doing, I, I'm, I'm you, still doing if, if you keep saying also <laughs> one more time I swear to God I'm going to put you on blast <laughs> I can also put you on blast so be careful yeah. Emma yeah. you know you have got a lot more to lose than I do right <laughs> moving on what, do you, you, yeah. you do realize this right because I go home to cockroaches <laughs> oh, and your TV okay. and my I TV Same here. moving on right mm. moving on ah oh, crap I've lost my point the rapping? So I'm sure the rapping and all. I'm sure there was even an issue with your earrings in that home with your mom. I got these earrings when I was uh, seven. Seven? Yeah, that's when I got Your pieced. mom? No, 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 my mom, my sister. Because immediately she noticed I could rap. She wanted to turn me into a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, she took all, all of wow. us. Like she, She's the firstborn. She took me, my, my, my two older brothers. And then we went to... We, we were actually here in Osaka. Okay, backstory. I was mm. born in Kabwe. Right. So I came to Lusaka for holidays. So my mom wasn't there to see to see how my ears are doing, you know. So that's when my sister had my ears pierced. And then by the time I was going back to Kawe, then when my mom was seeing them, they, they were already established. <laughs> <laughs> she must have been very pissed, though. Yeah, very, actually, yeah. But, but I didn't wear earrings for a very long time. I just used to put... You know, those small those stick, sticks broom, yeah. from, from, from the broom, broom yeah. It's a very, that's a very African thing to I do. I know. But I'm sure she was pissed for years. She was, mm, she was very pissed. Is that Christian mothers? Mm, very. Because there was a time when I was in grade 12, I started putting on earrings like more often. Yeah. Because I noticed she, she was now old, so like, there was no chance to be beaten and stuff like that. So Do you still live with your mom? No, no, no. no. Not okay. anymore. For two years now. I've been living on my own. I think I saw you with, uh, who's this guy who used to do the Edgar Lungo thing? Uh, IDC. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's his name? IDC. IDC. Mm-hmm. I think I saw you guys in Chilenji or something. Is that, is that home? I saw you coming out of the yard in Chilenji. No. Something. no. Livalo or something. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, where that you sounds from? crazy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds crazy. <laughs> where were you that's coming his, from, That's his bro? girlfriend's place. Right. Yeah, we live in yeah, Chilenji. What were you doing? Hmm? At his girlfriend's At place. His girlfriend's place. No, I think me and him... We were doing something. Then his girlfriend called. I think she wanted food or something. Mm. Then he took he took something. To she's never. Place. He's never heard of um, Uber Eats. So what do you call this? Nah, like Younger Eats. Or younger something. Eats. Yeah. Mm, he's, he's really into his girlfriend. Oh yeah. Yeah, mm, he can testify. Everyone uh, around him can testify. You, I've always felt like, in order for a relationship to be successful, the guy has to be more into the rela- yeah. he has to be more into the girl yeah. than the other way around, right? You agree? No. You don't agree. Yeah. You feel like the girl has to be into the guy more? I think so. I think I should I should have space to breathe. You know, I should I, I should feel that. I I just feel like that. On my own. That the guy no the girl has to be into the guy more than the guy is into the girl. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You want to be more into into the girl than she is into you? No, I feel like if the guy is he would put a lot more effort. The guy? Yeah. If the guy's into the girl more. I think sometimes guys do that either way. No, because guys it's have like, a lot more. It's options. like you said. It's like you said when you said you're supposed to pay for for transport. No, I hear you, yeah. but 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 you'd agree with this, especially the fact that you um you're pretty popular. Yeah, guys well, have in, more my case, in my guys case, guys have more yeah. options, right? Yeah. So you're you're bound to have a lot more girls throwing themselves at you. Yeah. yeah. So if the girl is more into you, there might be two or three girls that are also that way. No, but if you are into the girl, you're not going to be paying attention to the other five. Oh, yeah. No, like, I, I get the craziest that. DMs. Like, just, just this, just, just today. Mm. And I want you to read what my response was. You know, I was getting ready to come here. I also got this one. Person, uh, just, this just read this out loud. From what the person said. Not from the beginning. From the first Hello. Text. That's the girl. How are you? That's you. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. That's great. Can I get to know you? That's if you're okay with it. Ah. Sure. Can we be friends? 
you didn't reply. She she texted again. Hey, how are you? I'm good. You? I like you. Thank no, you. I know where this is going. <laughs> let, let me let me prove something. That's here. that's the end. That's where it ends. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you want, you want, <laughs> there's something. You want here. to scan her? She has no ass. That's why. She has okay. They, they really... No, I've, I've got plenty that got ass. It's just the same thing. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me t- let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah. For me, I don't know about the other people. The thrill is in the chase and not the kill. I think every man is like that. If you're gonna yeah, take the, the chase, chase out, yeah, the chase is really fun. Then, then I'm just like, you know what? Now I don't want it. It's like you're. I think men have become caged lions. Me right. just thrown, it's thrown at, at you. Them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we've become sort of lazy lions now because we've even forgotten how to hunt. Nah, All right. Man. I see, yeah, so how's, how's, your girlfriend t- how's, your, how's your girlfriend taking the thing? She's not really a uh, social, well. social media person, okay. so yeah, but she, she knows you're a famous guy because everywhere you go, yeah, with yeah, her, she knows, she people knows. will say hi. Yeah. Girls want to take photos with you. Yeah, how long have you been she dating? She's annoyed. Uh, a year, a year now, a year and six, a year and six. And she gets annoyed, very, yeah. It's, Does it's, she know who you are? Nah, Actually, it was like this. When we were first starting out, she didn't mind. Right. You know, she was just like, nah, I, I don't think I can say anything now. I'm new here in this place. <laughs> but now it's just like, ah. And then even when like, people are taking pictures and then it's taking so long, she's like, ah. Bouncing. Do you feel maybe relationships work better if both of you are famous or not famous? I wouldn't date uh, someone who's famous. But don't you think they understand Because I know the your... type of stuff I go through. Don't you, don't you think they understand your, your lifestyle more? Them? If, if she's famous, also famous, yeah. that she would understand your, your lifestyle and what you go through more than somebody who's not. It, it depends on what she's famous for. Doesn't think, matter. I would say. Fame is fame. Ah, man. Because I know the type of stuff I go through and it's worse for... For who? For females. Serious? It's, yeah, it's worse for females. What do you mean? I thought females... I want to are... say... Out. But it's worse for females. I didn't know that though. No, nah, it's worse for Wait, females. Wait, that, that it's worse in terms of what you go through? Yeah, but I don't want to explain a lot of stuff that I no, go through. No, like, we're not saying this any names. This is what free space, but it's not in BC. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you're saying girls get more advances than guys do in their DMs when they're famous? So for us, mm. it's usually, you know, like the way she came. Mm-hmm. You know, but to her, I know like there'll be a lot that will come to her more than the than, than the than the the that girls that come you. to me, and them they have money. <laughs> ah, I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah. You know, so you might have, but they'll have. No, I hear you. Yeah. Um, and this is this is because look, naturally, famous or not famous, guys will always try their luck, yeah. especially if she's pretty. Now imagine if she's pretty you know and I mean? famous, right? Can you imagine, can you imagine the amount of pressure people like Mumpy Seven go through it? Eh? Mm. Every day. But then they they get you've got a boyfriend, but then and, somebody and, comes and, and let me say something. And let me, yeah, yeah, and let me say something. So there's this girl. There are girls actually uh, mm. in Lusaka, like a lot of them. And then whenever maybe I take a pic with one of them, maybe we meet at an event, like like a movie screening or something like that, I'll get calls, you know, from like people from the Copper Belt, you know, just these bosses who have my line. Hey, watch it. And then, ah, big man, Nishina, no, 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 no. Cheven, they focus to Alco Dubai. They are passing next week. You know, wow. sometimes the get calls like, watch it, she let. Okay, I might expose a lot here. Watch it, she let. I'm going to booking my flight ticket. End up traveling as well. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm not really doing anything on this day. I might as well. Hey, let's go to Durban. <laughs> so, is this how some people end up uh, at Durban, July? I don't September. know about Durban July. I don't know about any July. I've never been to I like how you brush it up real quick. <laughs> 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 no, because we just see people that are just flying to Durban. Yeah, you know, and then with quest- questionable amounts in their pockets. You know, like, mm. how, how, how did this one end up here? We know you don't do anything, but yeah. your wealth is unexplained. Yeah. And you see them, you know, in these five-star hotels. But then, cuisines. you know what? You're talking about Mampi yeah. and the rest of them is... It's not as many. This is this is just me speculating. Mm. I don't think it'll be as many as we think because there's also a certain level of intimidation. So yeah. there's going to be a certain crop of guys that will have the balls to say, you know what, this I can get. So because I can offer her this, yeah. that her boyfriend or nobody else will be able to offer. So those are the guys that would go through. But the average guy like you, you be like, ah, bro, what I've, the fuck am I gonna go there and say? I've been in places where. They're seated here, and then it's like a competition. 
you know, ah, can't you worry about it? No, no. And then this one will bring up a different name. No, no, boy. I hear it. Can't you? You know, so it's like, I feel like yeah, it's the same sort of people. Yeah. And then like they're mentioning these, yeah. you know, the big names. Like, Don't worry, they have it. What are they evidencing? Zooming out. <laughs> Which is why I feel maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Which one Wait, you have you done maybe? that? Huh? Have you done that though? Before you were dating? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, every guy has. Which is why I feel yeah. maybe the, like. Have you been with somebody famous? Yeah. You have? Mm. M- musician, actor? No, no, that. I think she's uh, an actor. I think. You think? I, I don't want to be direct. So I think do, she's do an I, actor. Do I, know, I think, do I know her? Do yeah, 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 I, I think do. Might, oh, she's yeah. like that popular, huh? Yes, yeah, very, very. Yeah. So, was it like a relationship or you just like smash and bamba? Fiari pita, fiakale. He's with a new woman now. And yeah, no, no, but that's in the past, bro. And it's very, and she knows you've got a past. But the, this past was not presented to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your fault. <laughs> are you going to this deceitful? <laughs> Next person. <laughs> now, don't worry. You, you are you're a very loving <laughs> boyfriend, I'm pretty sure. So she'll, she'll forgive you. Thank you very much, sir. And if there's one thing I'm really envious of when it comes to comedians, girls love a man who can make them laugh. Yeah, of course, absolutely. But, oh, I thought being a rapper was cool. No, no. Ah, yeah, no, 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 no. Chicks, no, chicks no, dig no. jokes. They I'm love always saying, they love do, you, to laugh. do you know like all these guys that are spending their rent money on chicks in the club? You can get that ass again if you just make a laugh. That's it. And the funny thing spend is, on you if you make a laugh. And the funny thing about what oh, you should know about that. girls no, is about, about women spending on you. Yeah. I don't know about that. Oh. And the funny thing about girls is, like when they like you, they will laugh. Yeah. At your dry jokes, like when even if you're being yes. like really dry, right? And then it motivates you to keep going with the joke because she's laughing. Now imagine if like you are really funny. You, do you know, you know who else? I mean. yeah. Do you know who else gets laughs for dry jokes? Yeah, rich people. Oh yeah, <laughs> the buyer. Like imagine if they were, they were rich and like real funny. People become soccer fans of the team that the buyer supports. See, I teach in the team Korea. <laughs> ah man, people just need to make their own money, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ah gosh, man. No, we should have this guy more often on the podcast. Bro. You know what? I was actually this is exactly what I said to you. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you what I said to this guy. Oh yeah, he did say it. we should have him. Oh, Imaz now Regina. suddenly you remember our conversation. <laughs> yeah, I remember asshole. that part. I was away for that. What I said, yeah, right. What I said to this guy is, I said, see, read that. Uh, when he says he speaks, he speaks quite proper English. No, actually. No, no. <laughs> Wait, no, no, keep going, no, keep going uh, to what I said. Why, why the F haven't we had him on? He could be a regular like BJ. Ah, uh, no, thank you very much. You, you, know, you know why I emphasized on uh, he speaks proper English? We've, got, we've had people recommending certain guests who we know just won't be able to articulate on let, the podcast Let, me, t- like let me tell you something, Emma. If, if you go through my chats with this man, speaking of, did you know that with WhatsApp, you can lock a particular chat? No? Lock. What do you mean? Oh. So you can have <clears throat> 500 chats of people that you're talking yeah. to. You can go to Kalenga's chat mm-hmm. and, and lock, lock that chat. Nobody can access it. And it's, it's also then taken out of your chat history. It goes to another... It in goes into timer. another another folder. So to open that particular chat... Ooh, need a password. Ooh, the password or your biometric. So that's what you did to your chat? With Kalenga, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. But anyway, I'm, the point I'm, that I'm, I'm trying lucky to make, I've seen something at least. Yeah, you know what I mean? I've been there. The yeah. point that I'm trying to make is... Yeah, you're in the in in circle, circle now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Circle. The point that I'm trying to make is, if you see the way we describe some of these famous people, the way we talk about them... They'll stop coming like, when you... When, <laughs> hey, bruh. I think she's going to be in it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, see if, I need to start deleting our chats. I need to start doing our chats. But I don't Dude. like speaking English, man. Yeah, same here. I think it's really stressful for me. <laughs> Drink Vox water. Huh? Drink Vox. What does it do? The English just flows. It uh, flows. This is the first you, time I've spoke. I've spoken this English, English huh? more than yeah, this for, is for an, like hour an hour and or so. No, but even when, you Qatar, is, even when you were in Qatar, bro, I don't think you're speaking Bamba there. No, we were speaking African English with my African friends. <laughs> the Wakanda English, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, for some other person understands that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know when, 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 for example, you're like with Nigerian people, and then you just pick up the accent immediately because right. you feel like if you pronounce certain words correctly, they won't get them. 
Oh, right. Yeah. So now yeah. you have That's to fuck up your own yeah, English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right. like the way we speak with Chinese guys in Zambia. Yeah, yeah. You, all, 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 you, know, you come, come here, you come there. Exactly. <laughs> take your, <on>, take your. <laughs> 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 no, dude, you, you're very good at accents. I'll give you that. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite accent? Nah, I don't have a favorite. Because you probably asked me to do it, so I don't no, know. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, just tell me. Nigerian. The favorite? I think it's uh, the Nigerian one. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Say this one. What's in the apple now? What's in the apple for? Yeah. <laughs> but dude, dude, there's also like a very fine. All the, I guess it's just for me. Like. For West African, like when a Ghanaian speaks and when a Kenyan speaks, yeah, you sort of have to know uh, or have knowledge. Otherwise, almost kind of sounds the same. Kenyans, yeah. you pick the R's are silent completely. Um, the Ugandan they say accent the is A's bad. are pronounced E. The E's are pronounced A. Mm. They say person. A person. person. Even Ugandans. Let me tell you go. We 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 we, we we come here to make the people rough. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what that's what Kanzime told me. I'll talk. To, I'll talk to her. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to her about it. It's most yeah. some, almost like South African, but, but just then worse. you know what's crazy? Is I, I'm sure you saw this that uh, Africa is actually splitting. Oh yeah, the, the the Great Rift Valley thing is opening up. Another ocean is gonna form in the middle of Africa. In the middle of Africa, now there'll be two Africans. I saw that. I saw mm. that. Yeah. North Africa and West Africa. North and South, I guess. Yeah, North and South. Uh-huh. It's gonna take like a million years, bro. Yeah, it'll take a while. Take like a million years. Dude, didn't, didn't they say but, that but Victoria feel, Falls will also shift? Because it that's not just original position. It's gonna, it's gonna it come home. There. It's gonna come home. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's supposed to come home. And, and we Africans at the bottom part of Africa really should shut the fuck up about try, trying to claim slavery. Because yeah. the white people do not care about us in the southern Africa. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We were too small. Yeah, yeah. Lazy. we were lazy. Uh, lazy. They didn't want to waste uh, whatever they used to run those ships. All right. Plus, it yeah, wouldn't we're, even we're get far. here. We we're too far. They couldn't use the Zambies. Dude, you got an album. The kid, the kid must the be boy. crazy. The, the boy, boy must be crazy. Yeah. And then you dress up like the guy, uh, Nick, 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 oh, whatever his name is from uh, The Gods Must Be Crazy. The one who got like $100 for the movie. Yeah, I was about to mention yeah. that. So the boy must be crazy. Yeah. First of all, how many songs? How many songs on that album? It's not really an album, it's an EP. Oh, it's an EP. Yeah. What's the difference? Um, with the, the budget for an EP is like really small and then like you can release four songs and it would be an EP. An album is supposed to be like about over eight, you know, to 13, okay. 14, 24. All right. All right. Okay. With an EP, you can put together three songs and just release it as an extended play instead of waiting for each song to, you know, like you drop a single and then you wait for two months mm. to drop another single. You can just drop an extended play mm. if you have too many songs in your Okay, okay cool. Phone. Oh, so it's, it's, it's basically the mechanics around how you're releasing it is what determines what an album is or an EP yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. An oh, EP cool. is not that major. It's not taken that seriously. So, so you, you don't want to be taken seriously? <laughs> no, no. I was testing the waters. That's why it's called The Boy Must Be Crazy. Because I knew a lot of people would be like, ah. No, but then that's 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 a cop-out. Because then it, if it flops, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I was just trying. I was just trying. It's just like Yoda said, there's no try. Do or do not. Oh, yeah. So why test the waters? Now, you know, with me, um, I'm not really signed to any record label. Right. So I was really Kazari like pushing. Yeah, Should, the, do you the, want the me to speak to Kazari for you? No, I don't want to be signed any, under any... Uh, record label. He's got a manager who's re- yeah, he's bringing good in the at monetizing shit. Yeah. Too much. I mean, if you're making That's the that most much, important bro. thing. Yeah. yeah. What what you monetize? Oh, you, do you have a car? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah what kind of car? I have a car. What kind of car you got, bro? Yeah. No, I have a car. Uh huh. Very few people have cars. It's got a, it's got four wheels. Uh, yeah, four wheels. Oh, okay. Yeah. It goes for service every month. So is it one Just, thing you should not do that your cars have sex in it? Too late. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself. It, what it, else? That pause. <laughs> that pause? What else? What else? What about what you should not do yeah, in cars? Yeah. Apart from that, yeah. Maybe. No, that's the biggest thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it brings better. <laughs> I heard. You heard, mm. but you didn't care. You still smashed. No, I didn't do I didn't do that. Wait, so the actress, do you smash in the car? Or at her house? He didn't have the car then. In the home and away. You say what? Home, home and away. <laughs> you know. All oh, right. It right. was a... a uh-huh. First leg and second leg. What, what's the craziest place you've had sex? Huh? The craziest place you've had sex. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Let me do the color. Uh. <laughs> I 
still want an answer to that. that. Ah. I still want an answer to that. No, no, all my all my matches have been from 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 the home no or in these home stadiums. Live in stadiums. Yeah, no, no, like in juice. It's not my interview, bro. No, it's just, not, it's, just no, it's, it's, it's a conversation. conversation. There is the yeah. guest. No, but that's the thing. Now, I actually want to correct a lot of people and they say, nah, you need to interview. We yeah, don't I, have I, interviews. I was our uh, uh, chats, but it's, yes, about, it's, it's not about me. It's a, con- it's a conversation centered around him. Up, up, yeah. And that, that's the other thing that I'm taking. This is a teachable moment as well. When people are like, nah, but you didn't let the guest speak. It's not oh, an really? interview. It's a, it's a conversation. That's number one. Mm. Number two is we can literally talk about any fucking thing. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't literally have to be your upbringing. Mm. We can speak about social commentary. Yeah. We can speak about what's happening on social media. We can speak about what happened in Qatar. It doesn't have to be like solely focused on... We can speak about on... whether the EP was a flop. <laughs> was it? Uh, you tell me. It had about uh, four... It, right now it's at about 4.67 million streams. Wow. So Wait, on that's play? a flop. Yeah, on Boom Play. Let, let, or maybe let, 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 it works because of the name, but the songs may not be that good. I don't know, but there's a song that's feeding me at the moment from that. Oh, <laughs> serious, eh? Yeah. So, so, so how much do you get from that? Huh? How much do you get from that? From Boom Play? Yeah. Mm. No, it's complicated when I explain it, man, because it's different. <sighs> Look, I've got different. a problem. It's not like one cent per play. No, they don't. Um. Okay, let me not lie. I don't mm. really know, no, 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 how... Boom play works. I've, I haven't understood it yet. It's Nigerian, right? It's, it's a, I don't know. Yeah, it is. I don't know. It is but, but the, the closest uh, office, boom play office in Af- near to us is in Tanzania. So mm. I don't know about that. Even the plaques that came, the, the ones that were given plaques. That was that. that was a lot of advertising yeah, yeah, for that, boom play. Yeah, for boom play. That was really good for them. That's why even boom play are really helpful because even when you're about to drop a project, they'll even approach you and give you some... Some, some advertising techniques. They'll mm. tell you, know, send a video to us. We'll upload it on our mm. socials, you know, stuff like that. Do you think you can get our podcast here as well? Me? Mm. Or you guys? Yeah, can you, can you put us there as well? I, I don't have those connections. That's why you manage it. That's why we're talking to your manager, yeah. Yeah. Because my manager does things that I don't understand because I, I, it's very rare that I see Zambian artists being posted on these platforms like yeah, like boom play instagram but there. yeah but i'm always there like whatever i, I release is always there Dude, yeah. is it is it possible to buy fake streams on boom play like it is know. you know you can buy fake streams on yeah, uh, yeah. on youtube yeah i i, yeah, I knew can. that off of jaco's song yeah Seriously? that's not that it, was, it wasn't jaco's song jaco was featured it's called a lot uh-huh what happened uh he said something like this these niggas, I could see behind the smoking mirror, these niggas ain't, ain't really big as they seem. They faking their they streams, something mm. like that. Something. Do you know how if, if streams have been bought or if they're genuine? Mm. If you get an artist who supposedly does a million streams on YouTube in say two, three days or however long, mm-hmm. you know how YouTube also has got a trending Mm. Yeah, it should trend. It should be in the top trend. Mm. So you can't have a lot of streams, but yeah, but it doesn't correspond to the trending, right? Because oh, the trending I'm, also nah, speaks then, about. Then I'm innocent. Then do you get guilty. what I'm trying to say? I trend. Yeah, so you just get, you, you, yeah, you just get like in three, four days, someone's got a million views, but you look yeah. at the top ten trending, they're not there. I saw, I saw it on on Malay's song. He, he released a song. I think it was last month or something. In its first day, it had like, um, I think about. 160 million thousand thousand no, 160 thousand okay. in its first day and then the third day it had about 17 million see Niger- nah. nigerian population maybe no 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 they can't watch it that fast it can get to 17 million but maybe like but, after like um yeah. 70 days you know yeah. 20 days but imagine moving from 169 thousand to 17 million to 17 million in three days it's a huge leap eh yeah 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 Because he got that in the first day, so you're expecting something. So who did you say that was? Omalay. Omalay. Yeah. Dude, we need to stop. We need to stop. You know, showing some Zambian music, some love, you and I. Just a bit. Do you listen to it? So I'm what? just saying, we need, may, maybe we should. Who, who do you listen to mostly in Zambia? Like just one, maybe like you hear like two, three songs a month no, from Zambia or in Zambia. In Zambia. Like two, two, oh, from right Zambia. In Zambia, I'm listening to Jay Z in Zambia. <laughs> From them, uh, chef, I listen to chef all the time, so um, 
Serious. And, and my car stereo, <laughs> I don't know what, what's wrong with it. Remember I was telling you the other day? That's why I was moving the speaker this door. Mm. So my car stereo right now, um, it, it was a mechanic who was fixing my car. So it took the terminals off. So when it put the terminals back on, oh, my car stereo sure, couldn't sure. play CDs. Oh, okay. So I now buy CDs. And the only CD I have in my car right now, which I think I listen to Chef 187. But even when I'm on Spotify, I think I just listen to Chef. He's the only guy I know in Zander. Bobby is. Bobby. Oh, Bobby, I listen to Bobby. Yeah. And he hasn't been releasing quite a lot lately. Two years. But yeah, I listen to Bobby. Pretty cool, chill guy. Yeah, very Yeah, I had lunch with him last week. Really cool guy. He was telling me, um, actually the day he's, I don't know if I should even bring this up, but he's actually opening a liquor store. Ultra. He's already opened it a long time ago. Ultra. At East Park Mall. Yeah, Ultra. He's, he opened it. At East Park Mall? Yeah. Yeah. The he opened the Black it. Cups. Oh, serious? I didn't know. Yeah. Ish guy. I, I, just, I, just. I, I, I seriously don't follow Zami in entertainment, <laughs> eh? I seriously don't. What do you follow? <sighs> Podcasts, mostly. Yeah. Oh, there's podcasts in Zambia. Do you listen to any? Uh, Z no. podcast. You I listen to it while I, doing it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I and we've been nominated for an award, by the way. Oh, we've been nominated for. I think I saw that. You should promote us. We can put something in your page, yeah? You've got yeah, nearly yeah, a million problem. followers. For people to vote so for us. So let's just get people to vote. Uh, the voting is open from the 10th until yeah. the 30th. Yeah. Is it? When, 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 when is the award show? I have no idea. We have no idea. We Where know, is we, it? We know people can vote between is this, now. Is this Zambian or No, it's not. It's African. African. There's podcasts from Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, a lot of them. And Did you see that their service crashed? Their service crashed? Yeah. Because of? Of the traffic. Wow. Too many people were voting. Yeah, too many people were voting. At least we know that. Now imagine the day he posts for people to vote for us. Bruh. <laughs> but it's not only, you know, you, you're talking about not really paying attention to like Zambian content. <laughs> Him and I got... um invited to this greatest party of all in Livingston. Mm. The people that we met, I keep telling this story over and over again, the people that we met there, as we were talking to them, a few of them actually told us, you know, I actually love your podcast. We listen to you. And Kalin and I are looking at these people like, who the, are you? Uh. Until we got back to the hotel and we Googled them. You know who, we, we actually interviewed this guy and ish. <laughs> You know when you're interviewing someone, you're just thinking, ah, yeah. regular guy. Yeah. And, and then the we go to TV. Us, he keeps telling us about our podcast. Yeah. And then we go to the room. And we're not even watching TV. And then I look at the screen, yeah. familiar face. I'm like, oh, what is the, that guy? And then yeah. they show him next to Mark Zuckerberg. Ah, no way. Whoa, he mind is, blown. He's one of... He's Zambian? No, no. South African. South African. Yeah. But Vogue has got a few official pho photographers. Oh, yeah. He's the main photographer for Vogue. Wow. And you didn't know the guy. We didn't no, know the guy. We didn't know the guy. <laughs> and then we spoke to some other chick who apparently is like one of New York's biggest designers. We had no idea what she, she was. Like, oh, she, but she had a nice ass though. And she like threw us all over. Yeah. It happened to me when I went to uh, South Africa. So I was doing this thing where I was in the streets and I was asking South Africans if they knew some of the Zambian musicians. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that one of the guy, guys I had stopped is like a really big rapper from there. And like <laughs> a lot of Zambians actually listening to him. His name is Gemini Major. Mm, yeah. You know Gemini Major? Yeah. yeah, so I didn't know Gemini Major facially, but I knew, I knew his name. Mm. So I'm there interviewing him. He didn't say his name, but it was just like, uh, I know your maps, I know Chandambao, I F with this shit. I'm actually coming to Zambia next week to shoot a music video. So I was just like, ah, when I was and then I post that video, and then in the comment section, they were like, ah, yo, ndio mama pangira machik, Gemini Major. So, like, no, I, I, honestly, I, didn't, know I didn't know him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he was shocked as well. But then, you know, that's, that, that naivete is also kind of like what, what got me to be real with some of the celebrities in, in, in Zambia. Because mm. I don't know them like that. Mm. I speak to them like a person. Oh, okay. Whereas Kalinga is starstruck and he starts yeah. pissing himself because he knows yeah. these people. Like when I, we I, had... I usually need diapers when celebrities oh, yeah. come Like when we had... Good. This guy was like a puppy when we had um, Stanley Kaya. Who? Danny Kaya. Yeah. Danny Kaya. Yeah. Kaya. I, I was super starstruck. I, 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 was, was, I would be as well. I'm, right. all, I, I'm always star, starstruck when I see Danny Kaya. Dude, chef. Danny Kaya, Chameleon... I actually got a is that from why you, Is that why every time I want to speak about Camille not paying for his tax affairs, you always want to shy away yeah. from that? He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a legend in my books, bro. But I want to talk about what, him in that. What <laughs> I'll bring him up in that light. You know and what I mean? He's not paying for his stuff. young old face. So it was only young old. Orlando didn't complain, eh? Oh, he's only young old that he targets. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas yeah. are dicks, I swear. <laughs> 
Yeah. This, is this is lovely, man. Cremosa, try this. Uh, what, what did I order again? Butter chicken. A butter chicken. Shout oh, out to Mohammed. It's beautiful, man. I, mean, I have to ask. It's I beautiful. actually re- just recently figured out that I was spelling mm. his name wrong. It's not M U. It's M O. Mm. Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah, I found out when I read about Mohammed Salah. Ah, yeah. Mo Salah. It's like Mo Salah. It's like Mo. It, it wasn't supposed to be Mo. Mm. Then, Mo yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I thought as well. Yeah. It should be. The tri- there's, there's tribes that spell it with an O and yeah. tribes spell it with a U. Oh, okay. Or countries, something like that. What, Mohammed? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Others spell it with a U, others with a uh, O. Because uh, Ali was Muhammad, right? M U, yes. Yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, I've got a Quran at home and I know Muhammad, the prophet, is with a U. Yeah, Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need a Quran to know that. I think it's like Emmanuel. No, I'm just and saying, Emmanuel. What do you have a Quran at It's like I and E. They were giving out free Qurans at Levy Moore a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> did you meet? So the, got, got did, you meet did you meet the? Um, is it, uh, what what tribe is the? Um, what what religion is the Quran? Is the Muslims right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you meet the um, the, um, the Jehovah's Witness version of the Muslims? The mm. ones that commit jihad. No, those are the extreme. The <laughs> extremists. extremists. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, those, those guys those, don't fuck around. There was yeah, a guy. And actually, there was a lady at the mall. She was just handing them out. And she was actually almost forcing us to get, take them. And I just thought, you know what? I'm curious. Let me go read like, it. You were not curious. You were scared. It was in English. <laughs> I, I could have been. It was English. <laughs> it's it's both English and Arabic. Oh. She was like, "You are going to trick this shit, <laughs> or else." <laughs> I can't even. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you guys are such racist. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> but guess you are in a Muslim place right now, and you're busy. Oh my God. <laughs> But I'll tell you this, and I, and I've always said that's the safest place you can ever be. Like I don't understand people that that are scared of terrorism when they are flying Emirates. Cause yeah, because like that's all they can't bomb. <laughs> oh my god, am I screaming? <laughs> but they can't bomb their can own thing. Can we stop this? Yeah. They gave us a venue, they welcomed us into their house. We are yeah. eating their food. And here we are talking delicious, shit about them. Uh, delicious Jesus, halal chicken. You people are not you people are not grateful. <laughs> Look who started the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about being grateful. Wash his hands off us. <laughs> Thomas, it's been real, man. Thanks a lot for coming yeah, through. Thank you very uh, much. So yeah, thanks for I having man, me. I also feel like there's, there's a lot. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. And no, I need to keep in touch. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be calling you regularly, no, no especially when I when I impress a chick. <laughs> you, ever, you ever got this one of this and BJ did this shit to me? <laughs> okay. Where you are chilling with somebody, and you're like, keep us. I know. I can call him right yeah, now. And yeah, you yeah, yeah, my yeah. Phone. <laughs> And, and, and then you don't, and then you don't know how to answer because you you don't know that they're with people, so you're answering them in like in the right. normal app. Because you know, the speaker up? calls me, and I'm on speaker, <laughs> and then they expect you to be like, "Yo, what's up?" <laughs> you see, <laughs> <My Jeep. laughs> so whenever I call you, bro, just um, you know, expect just, that just, just uh, they. I, I have friends that that give me signals when they're with people and they're calling me. They like really talk like really loud. Uh huh. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> and then you can hear people in the background laughing oh, oh. Man. <laughs> then you know what's going on uh, it's getting pussy by association <laughs> trickle down pussy is yeah. what it's called trickle down trickle Such down pussy. pussy i trickle love how down. you guys can use any word you want it's not that but you, you don't swear <laughs> nah i do when mm-hmm. i'm alone <laughs> i can't when you're with a click I am uh I'm peep some some people's But don't you feel like you got fame and money like way too young though? Do you feel like it 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 fucks you up especially when you have to when you have to go the distance? Yeah, I think in in some in some cases it does, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, very it's, it's, it's I think it's very dangerous in fact. Cuz you're exposed to like a lot of stuff, HIV. And yeah, yeah you know, not only HIV. <laughs> some but some but good it, stuff that can turn bad over time. But if you're wise, there's nothing like too early, bro. Huh? If you're wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But does that also so. come with age? They, 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 it's, it's a rare combination. Yeah. It's it's a rare guy who has both. Yeah. You've I think got, it, you're young, you're wise and you've got money. Yeah. I think it's my case somebody who's yeah. your age, yeah. he's handling big money and he's handling it well. Who's that? Eno Kumepu. Yeah, very much. Yeah. yeah, too much, too much. But then again, it it also depends. With, how old is he right now? Twenty four. When did he start making money? About 20, five years ago. Twenty. He was nineteen. Ago. Twenty. Yeah, nineteen. So there you go. So mm-hmm. again, because he was we, playing if, in Europe at nineteen. If we are to, if we are oh, to, yeah, have, maybe like we check his beginnings. There you go. So if we were to have this conversation with him a year or two into him making money, yeah, he's probably he reckless. Yeah, it's that, always uh, it's always a confusing phase. I think so. It is a confusing phase. But you you move from. <clears throat> Not having anything 
to like, having to having to having it all and the know? freedom too yeah, and the freedom that's yeah. how it ended up broke in uh, 2016 bro when you moved in with your mom yep yeah i used to handle maybe a little too much I'd, and I, i think maybe it came early but i'm wiser now and i've seen how, how i'm you spending go. my money now you see and the I mean? fact that you've lost you had it and you lost and it, I lost it yeah. now when you get it again now you know what to do and what not to do yeah. and especially with Enoch, like you've said especially when you're getting it constantly mm. because when you're getting money you feel like it's never going to run out no that's what I, was, what i wanted to say as well because i reached at the point where you know i was getting money like every day you know you have something going on every day whether maybe it's a road show mm. you know it's it's, it's, it's it's an endorsement and stuff like that so like in seven days maybe you get an average about of about maybe like seven thousand per day Mm. At that time, so it looked like it was never going to to run out. To run out, exactly. You know? So um, oh. yeah, I yeah, it's um. But for me, I'm coming from a place where I've seen a lot of my family members in that situation, though they were doing different stuff. But I saw how they went from there to like mm. nothing. So, so wiser I was from yeah, other people's experiences. Yeah, I was driven by fear of that same thing happening to me as well because it happened to, to even my dad. You know, what what, what are you planning on investing in though? When the racks like that was really a lot of the same thing. And do yeah. you do you invest? Do you save? No, I, I do invest. And don't say don't say that because it sounds like the right thing to say. No, no, no. I do because uh, I didn't start it. I, I won't take the credit, but I had you didn't my, do what? I, I didn't start investing like on my, okay. on my own. Like I didn't make the, the decision. Your manager. Yeah, I like this manager guy, man. And we need yeah, to man, he's, he's, a, he's a fantastic. So what, guy. what have you invested in? We have uh, what what do they call them? Couriers. What? Couriers, Couriers. motorbikes yeah, all over the place. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's wise, uh-huh. man. Yeah. Daily and, money. Uh, a car hire. Mm. I heard Yango is also taking cars for like car hire. I don't know about that. But yeah, we do that. Oh, now you do. No? No, no. I, I don't know about Yango. Yeah, I'm saying now you do. Oh yeah, me. I do. Like you've got a car, you can uh-huh. give it to Yango. They will look for a driver oh, who doesn't oh, have do? a car. Okay. Right? Then they give did, you did your I car pay to this, a driver. Did this ad? No, of course the fuck they did. Nah, I just say shit about them. Congratulations. <laughs> you play. I just say shit about them and uh, they might take this million. clip and use it. They wouldn't touch yeah. this nigga with a six foot pole. <laughs> no. Is it six or ten? What's the, what's the saying again? Either way. Whatever Either way, it is. It's a pole. With, it's with, a a long, pole. with a long ass pole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. But what do you think that is? What, what do we say though? Huh? The, the issue came from the Mentally Monster episode, yeah? It came from the... So it wasn't me. It wasn't Mentally. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's both of us. No, it's Mentally. It's Mentally. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And, oh, yeah, yeah. and yeah. We, we give a disclaimer that her views and opinions has got nothing to do, do with us. Yeah. In that episode, got 110,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> we met that chick at uh, Tanya's event. The, the tall chick from Yango. Uh, Masiliso. 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 Yeah. Oh, she graduated. Masters in engineering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smart, her man. mother made noise at the graduation ceremony. Oh, serious? <laughs> like, Zambia. <laughs> it, I think it was in Russia. In Russia. She was in Russia. Yeah. Was she in Russia? Yeah, yeah, her mom was like, Zambia. Zambia. Then everyone was like, a double yeah. masters or something. Engineering. Sheesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Lobola must have just doubled. Mm. <laughs> it's not Emma, easy. We've been saying bye for the longest, bro. Imagine, no, how, much, how much time have we done? It's like an hour 50, bro. Mm. No, nah, that's cool. Imagine if... So you cut some parts out? No, 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 we don't. We don't do it Imagine either. if they calculated Lobola based on how educated you are. Mm, very few people get would marry. Removed some <laughs> of the money based on how many abortions you've had. <laughs> uh, your body count. <laughs> do you think someone that busy has had that much abortions? Oh, like her? Yeah, like her. What do you mean? How how busy is she? She's bu- for, for for a person to 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 obtain all those The, those those master's degrees and stuff like that. Some people are just smart, bro. Like you don't really smart. genuinely have to put in the work yeah. um, to get. Some people are just like your brain naturally. absorbs everything it encounters. You know what I mean? Some people yeah. have memory. We've all had people like like I remember when I was in school. There's this dude. So she had like, time for all fucking that. weekend. This guy will be just like fucking around. Literally the night before the exam, he's the way he would study, book. and he would just like blow everybody <laughs> else out. I hate those niggas. Me too. And yeah, you know, yeah, week, you know, yeah. the whole week, the whole week, bro. I was one of those niggas. What the Thank smart guys? Yeah. Uh, what happened to you? No, I, I am actually. It's no, but com- comedy requires bro. smarts, so you have to. You smart. have to be smart. Comedy requires yeah. smarts, bro. You have to read situations very fast and relate to a lot of people, even though you don't want to. It's mm. like you said, you don't listen to Zambian music. I have to. Even right. if I don't want to. Right. I have to listen to some Indian music, you know, just to pick up some who, different... Who, what, what Zambian celebrity mm-hmm. is the easiest to make fun of? Apart from Sarafina. <laughs> the easiest to make fun of? In terms of what? The just looks? Generally, uh, do we, whatever. Looks, career, 
gives you material? Chef, what do you tell me? How? What, what material? He's like do you really give shy, him? and I don't understand because to me he's a goat. He's like, ah, oh, what? Uh, serious? Serious. Uh, serious. Uh, but he might. Come on, what? That's so true. I watched the interview, and you you asked him something. He's like, I like this guy. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. And then you're like, he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just. <laughs> nah, Sh- Chef is the kind of guy who opens up when he's with his people. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like yeah, his really close his, people, yeah. Shingwa, uh, Superman. Yeah, when Superman. there's like the three, four of them, and you can you can almost observe the conversation from a distance. He's actually the storyteller. He's always the storyteller. Okay, Chef is like this. So we might be in a, in a place, right? He's with his people, yeah. mm-hmm. and then when a stranger walks in. He shuts he, down. He's, yeah, he's like the I'm quietest the guy. Way. And then when the stranger leaves, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Why don't guys do Ah, but he's some kind of celebrity, but I'm kind of looking at the Stambik Music Festival. She's a folk foundation, but you know why I'm by that. I won't say the song. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. Uh, uh, serious. Uh, just, just. If, if I like those were, you, the, the studio sessions you were doing. Um, oh, the ciphers. The ciphers. Yeah. Where you'd be uh, so many artists, and I, I would always yeah. laugh when the Chevy pod comes on. Oh, uh, this is so accurate. <laughs> so accurate. Yeah. And, uh, and who, who do you think is. Are you terrified of making fun of anybody? Nah, nah. When I was in South Africa, I made a video about almost like the other big guys, and some didn't take it like really cool. So you did it like cool. Who didn't take it cool in SA? Ah, I won't say the name because I see my phone. I'm a beefy idea, and this is but. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Pussy. No, Ooh. no. Oh, the, the the people I mentioned yeah. over there. Yeah. No, I won't tell you who got pissed, but mm. I mentioned Vincenzo, uh, Triple M, Your Maps, Chile One, J Max. I think those like the five. So one, one of those didn't take it well. One yeah. of the people you've just mentioned. Yeah, one of the, I know who one it of is. the people. <laughs> Obviously, I know who it is. There's one. There's one person. No, who it's is. not even the person. It's the people around. I, it's, it's one person. The person who's around okay. that person. Yeah, the it's person, two the, people actually. We one two. female, one male, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those two. Yeah. <laughs> they were pissed, and I was like, that, yeah. No yeah. prize for guessing, innit? Content is content, comrades. I'm going back next week. I will do it again. Bro, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I was about to ask, like, did you do it? While you were in South Africa, because you. No, no, no. Uh, no. I just did it over there because there was this thing going on about you know, international. You know, so I just wanted just to test it. the wars. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to test the wars, you know. It, was, it wasn't my fault the people didn't know the people. <laughs> Gosh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gosh, that's, man. that's why I did it from there. Because obviously, if I did it from here, everybody knows that. Nah, them. dude, we're calling you back for the 100th episode, eh? <laughs> We are 15 episodes away from episode 100. Yeah. yeah. I will tell you the, something else as well. Okay. We are, Our, let me just go to my YouTubes. Hmm. And we, we are um, 300, uh, actually 250 that's what, that's away from 50,000 wow. subscribers. We are, we are, three, we are 300 Nah, away. you were way bigger than me on YouTube. Because I only post music on YouTube. Yeah, you're like a 22,000. I think so, uh, yeah. 25, 22. What, what, yeah. Podcast in Chile has a million now. A million, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But I mean, if, if you look at the timelines, we're doing well. Remember, he said he did 10,000 after three years. Mm-hmm. Remember that? 10,000 after three years? Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. Podcast and Chill started like that. It's mm-hmm. when he had who, Daniel, then people sort of, then it was up Especially when Soul came in. Sp- then when Soul came, the whole, the whole Africa started watching, yeah. Ish, dude, we've said bye like I don't know many times, but let, let like, me just get up. What are these conversations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, boy, uh, actually, <laughs> yeah, that boy, now we should see. <laughs> <laughs> to the next episode. And remember, yeah. uh, it'll be nice for us to hit. 50,000 with this episode. And also, don't forget to vote for us. Uh, a lot of people are getting confused which category because they're going to podcast of the year because that's the only place they're seeing podcast. Oh, almost everything you're seeing when you go to the link that we're putting up under this video, almost everything you're seeing there is a podcast when you open that link. So look for the lifestyle uh, yeah, and about, entertainment about yes. category. Yeah, that's In there, are. you see other podcasts. Click on that Z podcast and really appreciate the photos yeah, that are coming through. Lifestyle slash entertainment category. Yes. We are up against um, South Africa, Nigeria. Yeah. The countries with the big numbers, bro. Yeah. No, but when people want to support, they really support. Oh, yeah. The Zambia. Zambians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, when they, they want to, you. someone won five awards in one night. Yeah, King Booga in Nigeria. Yeah, King Booga in Nigeria. Coin. <laughs> Coins are busy. Shout out yeah. to Golden. I'm what actually supposed to meet him right now. Yeah, just, no, thank you very much. You could, you could be. Are you having a show on Zamezi Magic Food? I, I could. Yeah. But is, is Coin uh, doing that as well? Yeah. He's, he's. Man, man, that boy's ahead of his time. Too yeah. much, too much. He's, and he's very quiet. Yeah. He's not he says, everywhere. I don't want people to know me. 
and this is exactly why I keep mentioning him, is because people don't give him his flowers. People are giving these fake ass movie producers flowers when he's done a lot more. To the next episode, have a lovely day. Remember to vote for us. The link is below right now. And click and subscribe. Peace.